ହେଲାଣି so but odisha society of americas re we have been involved for the last 50 odd years um and right now of course our biggest my personal biggest thing is there is an american election in just about a month so we are doing some work on that but other than that i have general interest in this conference so so that is why i am here Oh, thank you for the interest. This morning, I sent a mail to OSA in general. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm an OSA Life member. I was actually trying to involve uh, different chapters of OSA. Um, I was told that uh, OSA has its own thing, and this is technology, but that that's okay. So um, I did send individual. Individually, I'm an OSA Life member, and I'm proud OSA Life member. And you have been there 52 years, so thank you for building that institution. <laughs> <laughs> no i i'm not a leader by any means i am just a follower but um, you know just in general talking about me mo eti 55 barsho rahiba pore bi my true friends are really odias <laughs> because culturally we have similar interests ekna navaratri kohantu ମହାଳୟା କୁହନ୍ତୁ ସର୍ବମଙ୍ଗଳ ମାଙ୍ଗଲ୍ୟ ସିବେଇ ସର୍ବାର୍ଥ ସାଧିକେ ଶରଣ୍ୟ ତ୍ରମ୍ବକେ ଗୌରୀ ନାରାୟଣୀ ନମସ୍ତେ ସୋ ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ହୁଏର ୱି ଆର୍ ଏଣ୍ଡ ୱି ୱିଲ୍ କଣ୍ଟିନ୍ୟୁ ଇନ୍ ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ମ୍ୟାନର୍ ସୋ କିନ୍ତୁ ଆପଣଙ୍କର ୟୁ ନୋ ଦିସ୍ ଏ ଆଇ ପାୱାର୍ଡ ଫର ମି ଇଟ୍ସ ଇଭିନ୍ ମୋର ଇଣ୍ଟରେଷ୍ଟିଂ ସିମ୍ପଲି ବିକଜ you are doing it globally you start from japan and you will end in american samoa that was really what got my interest <laughs> that was the point sir yes then <laughs> so, my wife is sitting at the back so i will i will take off this thing so that um, she can hear the conversation oh great um, oh, again sir, again uh, thank you very much again ଉଣ୍ଡ so what does fluid really do, do? bernoulli's equation mu bhuli jai but i have some idea about open channel flow so what does fluid give you fluid give you the flow. so ne say flow on a larger scale we are all flowing whether for example i give this example when um, a wedding occurs and my theory is that gote mountain ru bibhinna stream asuchi gote mountain bibhinna stream asuchi so se stream gurika asikiri they small they create a small stream a brook a brook a river then river to a grand river and finally the river ends in the ocean so we the life form have formed from the fluid itself from water and we will all diminish and decay in water some day so and i say that it is not just two rivers it is two families it is two cultures but we all start the source of that origin is still one and the decay is also going to be just one apno you people are you are much more advanced here we have phd physics so so we are discussing um the phenomenon of flow and in that sense it is it is also true that the cultures merge when the cultures merge the 
it it the it is not just a science it is actually an art if you will so ame 80 we ourselves we have totally assimilated to the american culture you are sitting probably in odisha and um, god bless you doesn't matter where you are doesn't matter what you say we all are connected somewhere somehow and that's all we are a part of it that is one of the reasons um for me this is a this is truly general interest so to look at young faces by the way i'm 80 years old oh wow okay <laughs> my you children, don't look like it to be honest my children bought us a great vacation in alaska just a month ago all of us were there my children and their children so we had a great time and we were looking at the various glaciers and things of this nature and when we we look at that my thought process is i mean go to asile you know whether it is a glacier <laughs> whether it is a mountain stream ganga jamuna saraswati ame amaro bapa dadi jetebele chali jau chanti ame jai prayag re shraddha korchu ame jai allahabad re shraddha korchu ame jai narmada re shraddha korchu because we believe that the confluence of these rivers do something and we all wind up in a bigger body of water so and you know the that is all I can say about confluence. And in United States, we have visited some of these confluences. The biggest confluence of rivers, of course, is the Tennessee and the Ohio joining into the Mississippi. And that confluence really is mind boggling. Alaska, we see some, but that does the Alaskan is flowing right into the glacier while some of these big glacier national forests etc in the united states north um, north america basically but that also winds up as a glacier in the big lakes so so they also start from a stream or a spring and it arranges it gets bigger bigger and bigger and finally it ends in the Mahasagar, whether it is Atlantic or Pacific. So, so that is all. So that's all my knowledge of fluid flow. <laughs> and I have forgotten Bernoulli's equation, <laughs> but I can look it up and I will understand some of these channel, open channel flows. So that's all. Let's see what the phys uh, what the PhD in physics says. To the <laughs> Let's hear from you. To be honest, it's a more philosophical question, so I'm pretty sure like uh, Nitin and Mose is much better, you know, like, uh, and more experienced to answer this. So yeah, so it was nice. Uh, it was because... <laughs> yeah, I'm known here as a Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so. Again, it's an almost a Sukan Sawe Bebe John Cole, London, Sui Asit Amosanga Tipe, Pony Kitsama, like Nagi Pony John Kurchan, the Amato Janja, the Tokyo of first light to American summer or last light person, I may challenge you, um, good Sadhana, the Sukan Vayasundi, London Ru, uh, Manas London, South Sea Bay area Ronti, um, so Au Aditya Porida Jetic Kiras Nozundi, uh. So, she was the colonel professor uh, Aditya Parida, Sweden. So, I'm going to go to the Samoa. Thank you. Sweden is the same as the Soybaku. So, I'm going to go to the Pochre did again. Pochre did a team come on the press note like Kuchanti or Kong Kong Kuchan. 
आउ गोटे पेपर पेपर रिव्यू करिया पय आउ आउ गोटे टीम काम करछन दिस सो वेरी नाइस बट अंजन टॉक टू अस अबाउट द गोल दैट वेयर वेयर डू यू थिंक यू विल यू आर हेडिंग माय सो um odia community is very knowledgeable very aware very smart very intelligent they know how to calculate risk but after calculating risk they do nothing and and, and we have historical reasons for that and ame parasparo ku jaha self deprecating koru tar bhi reason achi so what uh, we need to do socially is uh, we need to take that thing आउट मुता को कहे रिवर्स माकुले ताकु सहज रे कहि दिए एक एक मिसे कि 11 केमते हो आपण जॉइन करबा गुरु 2 घंटा गुरु कथा होतलु आमे सुकांत भाई हिमालय नथिले कलन पडरा थिले आमे कथलु एक आ एक मिसे कि 11 केमते करबा सेटा होची सोशल इंटेलिजेंस आउ जते बेले आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हमर सब कॉग्निटिव एबिलिटी को ऑटोमेट कर दबो सते बेले हमहु को कोन करे जे पण हमको सोशल इंटेलिजेंस ही मोर ह्यूमन का ह्यूमन करबो आ तार गोटे इकोनॉमिक इंटरप्रिटेशन अछि इकोनॉमिक इंटरप्रिटेशन अछि हिमालय अंजन मानस सुकांत भाई आ आपण नितनंद मोसा आ आदित्य आदित्य परेड सर आमे यदि 6 जण लोक होछ आमे यदि परस्पर गोटे कर्नर रे बसिबा वी विल मेक ए फ्यू मिलियंस फॉर आवरसेल्फ्स किंतु आमे यदि एका संगरे काम करेबा वी विल मेक 6 बिलियंस सो आवर स्केल गोज बाय गोज इन थाउजेंड्स इफ वी जस्ट नो हाउ टू कोलैबोरेट and we odias do not know how to do collaborate but we are great engineers probably great managers but tikke achi so ai gote din sam ko bahut chinta kariya pai padibo a bahut human kariya pai padibo so being human is good so as a society we are trying to answer what's next when and at the same time lifting the society is up uh, sukant bhai knows uh, understands economics and politics together said main ta ko ali all i need is forbes for stop five top 10 re i need a nick misra there i need a sukan sau there it's okay if it's them i don't want i'm i don't want somebody who is not uh, i i cannot go and beg money for people no money is there within us you know startup re founder mane achanti they they beg money and they get exploited no we don't we don't need to do that so ai is a field where we can do lot of things especially doing startup right ingenuity one smart person thinking right writing appropriate prompts using a scientific using a scientific agent and a coding agent and at this agent they will be able to orchestrate a lot of success that's the level of skills the kids like sorup misra has who is the convener of this conference and his guru professor chitta baralo apan janithi ba tanku hmm and dr devendra das sharma 500 patents worldwide so what we have to do is connect this one and one to 11 right and that's the goal of this community utkal sammelani kon haitla odisha ko ekatrit kare apai amar ai sammelani odia manan ko au thare ei jugare ekatrit kare apai rai chi lofty goal all right man <laughs> but 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 i have to say it is doable and with this group of individuals here i am a novice i do not know much about ai i am reading a little bit uh, attending some of the seminars of gates because uh, gates really is pushing it gates is pushing it through microsoft um i don't think he is pushing it from microsoft microsoft is pushing it itself uh in their own platform and there are others but um and we all see whether you like it or not whether we like it or not we are in it it is all around us and how to utilize it to the benefit of humanity that's a question that i am i'm beginning to ask bill gates because he is using he is using some of his tools that he has learned in africa in odisha actually he, he, he was in odisha in february and he is going again he was in chennai last month so so hopefully 
we'll get somewhere. And and through AI, they are talking about increasing the productivity, and things of this nature. And uh, these are all help to humanity. So, and also while we we know something about that, there is always a concern among the scientists and among the economists that it may go in a wrong direction. Uh, and we see some of that too. So there has to be some safeguard. And uh, honestly, I have no idea how to create any safeguards around this whole AI. AI health industry to if you open up your email, uh, you get two, three emails every day to do this, this, and this via AI. You open up a Microsoft program in your personal computer, you get something about that. And I personally haven't participated in any of it because I'm scratching the surface and I'm only in the periphery. For me to understand these things, I need a lot more information and a lot more understanding of what are the benefits while keeping the benefits. The benefits are here. We are here. It's a benefit. We are in all corners of the world. You are sitting in Odisha. It is already Sade Pasta, Chota Sakala Halani. And <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning in Bhubaneswar. And uh, the Swedish people, it's um, about um, one o'clock in the morning there. So, so we can do it. So it can be done on a virtual basis. And we can continue that forum. While we are at it, we have to have some combined thinking that how we can put certain guardrails so that we don't go. I was quite amazed, Tomeju, you know, you said that's why I, I took my time to join you because I wanted to see how you can really pull it off. Because when we do a Zoom or a um, Microsoft based go to meeting or whatever it is, we do all these little, little things and we have a start time, we have a stop time. Everybody has to go in through a gate and you have an open gate. So, so that, yeah. that, that worries me at this moment. That actually worries me. But somehow you think that it's OK. We, we can continue in this route and see where we go. And as you go along in all the things that we have learned or we do, we have to start somewhere. And as you jump in, you understand some of the nuances and you design the safeguards. That is one way of doing it. We have physicists with us. We probably will have some AI experts with us. Actually, one of my cousins here in Seattle, Washington, he is, uh, is quite a doer himself. I will actually um, caucus with him via a phone call after I get somewhere with you guys. So I will try to rope him in to see if he can bring his intelligence um, to, to to something a forum like this um, and and discuss various things um, whether it is uh, world economics world politics because we are we're all in it whether like I said whether we, we like it or not we are inside a system and that system happens to be big enough, to hold us. It has good things, it has bad things. So how we ferret it out remains with the designers, such as you uh, in Himalaya, Sukant, and uh, Manas. Um, let's put our heads together. 
um, and I will, all I can say is I will talk to some of my friends and some of my relatives who are far more intelligent, <laughs> far more experienced than I am. So maybe we'll go somewhere, uh, Anjan. So, uh, Anjan, are you thinking of continuing this thing like on a weekly or a monthly basis? Is that what your goal is? So, um, from this conference, there are, there is one action item uh, from a forum called Loco Kola. Loco Kola. Um, so, Loco Kola ro chahu chundi samane je tanku amar gote action item as jaise je monthly gote yeh abo jota ke ame sahajo bhasare ame AI ku kahi pariba. व्यवहार सिखै पारिबा जो कि गां रे जो लोक माने देखु वीडियो करि पारिबे भलके ए बडे हां सेटा गुटे लक्ष्य तयारी हेची लोककला संसद लोककला परिषद संगरे सो लोककला परिषद सेटा लक्ष्य तयारी हेजे 2025 रो कॉन्फ्रेंस बेळुकु जेमिति कि समाने ट्रेन हे जाथिबे 12 टा ट्रेनिंग सेशन रे सो लोककला इज इट्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स एन एंटिटी हम्म Again. And it is sitting in Bhuvaneswar. Uh, so, registered or something in Jana Nahi, but it's a loose entity of about 600 people, uh, mm -hmm. in involving you know all people like uh, some people who are influential, some people who are very common people like you know who who, who is an artist, right? Gare jo das kathe abo jo thowa you know se kothle tangkar jee om jee kothle se manko pakhre apna gote jagro aude jagko jagye tangko pakhre paisa nahi. Right, somebody has to pay them to come from one point to point. So, same man, AI can do it. And same man, AI can do it. It's democratization of AI because they have to be in the producer side of AI, not the consumer side of AI. So, goti action item he chose is local kolang pay. Most of the protest will they chose. I am going to do it. Protect masso gote ye karang so that we will enable them to understand AI and use the AI, use AI in local kala. धरंतु किए यात्रा टे कला धरंतु किए लोक कण जो घोड़ा नाच औरी अमर बरगड रे जो सीधा हुए ना बढ़िया बडवा धनु यात्रा छौ हो कि संबलपुर एवं मयूरभंज ना अपन धनु यात्रा क्वेश्चन दे बधे ना बरगड बरगड रे जो जम्म होंती ना कोन होंती कंस होंती तेत में कली धनु यात्रा कहले पा धनु यात्रा बरगड रो धनु यात्रा मयूरभंज रो छौ ये छौ तो छौ माने देयर आर टू बिग टू बिग ग्रुप्स गोटे होची मयूरभंज द अदर वन ऑफ कोर्स इज इन सडई कला हां सडई कला झारखंड सडई झारखंड सो एंड आई एम नॉट कनेक्टेड विद देम बट वी नो पीपल एक्चुअली वन ऑफ आवर गुड फ्रेंड्स एन अमेरिकन लेडी she spent a year she has a phd in anthropology from harvard the poor girl is way busy right now so but she 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 actually spent a year just understanding the the technique because that's it it's an expression using ai whether that's a daskatia gotipo nacho any of those loko kola loko kola is far more basic than odyssey or the all those big big things bharatnatyam etc but using of ai i can see it i i may not understand it but i can comprehend that such a thing will be extremely useful to the villagers of Odisha. I don't know about other people, but in Odisha, Odisha is 60% Aboriginal underprivileged people. So, so if if we can reach those kind of people, I, I have a couple of other friends, those who are working in library and things like that. So um, I'll try to connect with them these people are extremely busy they are doing their thing they are earning a living feeding a family raising a family all those things i don't have to raise anyone the kids raise me these days so 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 i am at the other end of it and i 
do not have a lot of time because I'm trying to do something else. But but nevertheless, um, we can spend some time just understanding what can be done. A, a loco cola. A loco cola is one of those things. Let me um, talk to about that particular thing and using AI to promote and to propagate their knowledge and understanding of that particular thing, whatever that thing is. It could be kola, it could be performing. We're talking about performing arts. It could be performing arts. It could be writings and, and other things. But AI is probably going to be very useful is going to be very useful in creating documentation morosejo mukoyli morjo cousin devi misra he, he lives in seattle he is actually he worked in microsoft for a very long time <laughs> he was hired in hyderabad by one bill gates so 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 what debbie does debbie is talking about ai and debbie is talking about ai in another context, he's talking about making documentation. I, I will only, uh, what I know, what Debi is headed to. And Hebi is uh, he's involved in Odisha government right now because he's trying to see, and, and there is a lot of interest. It's not just Odisha, government of India is very interested too because it's a part of education. What you are talking about, whether it is Gotipo Nacho, or whether it is Ghoda Nacho, or whether it is understanding science and propagating that knowledge to kids who cannot even buy a slate for themselves. I mean, you know, we talk every day, I talk with my wife, my little eight year old, granddaughters here in San Diego carry an iPad to the school every day. I mean, when I think about it, it's mind boggling. When I was in third grade, I didn't even have a slate and a couple of pieces of chalk where I wrote two times two equals four. So we are progressing in those directions now to to use them in a fashion where it will help the common mass is an extremely noble goal um and debbie uh, debbie is not looking for money either but i will ask debbie basically i will ask debbie to connect with you all so that he gets he spent some time and brings his expertise to the table what we do once that expertise how can it be utilized is somebody else's business so so that is all i think i will do and i will also talk to nishikanta another friend much younger um See, Odisha, he has been very involved for the last uh, several years. She got a library, Dhanda. Is that library, Dhanda? Abhijandra Patki. Kontala? Mosku, Abhijandra Patki. Mosku. Mosku. See, that is Mosku. There is Ekal Vidyalaya. There are all these things that are out there. Ekal Vidyalaya, is, is, they do some phenomenal work. Mm -hmm. Most school itself does some phenomenal work. They have been in my high school. I, I was quite amazed. So, <laughs> so I graduated from high school like um, so So it's been a while. <laughs> so, but nevertheless, Amo Pilanko If we can, and and the kids, these kids are just super smart. All they need is a little direction if we can get them to think so anyway 
नितान भाई ना जय जगन्नाथ अंजन जे आकाश दास नायक ना सो ही वाज इन चार्ज ऑफ मो कॉलेज सो करेंटली ही जम्प द सीट नाउ ही मूव फ्रॉम बीजेडी टू बीजेपी नाउ एंड वी कैन यूज हिज एक्सपर्टी बिकॉज द काइंड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दे हैव सेट अप इट इट वाज अ गुड कॉन्सेप्ट बट प्रोवाइडेड द गवर्नमेंट वाज जस्ट डूइंग शोइंग ऑन पेपर दे आर नॉट डूइंग ऑन द ग्राउंड बट वी कैन लेवरेज दैट पर्टिकुलर फैसिलिटी टू रीच टू वेरियस स्कूल्स जो मैंने इंटरेस्टेड हैबे जॉइन करिया पाई हम कोर्स करिकुलम डिफाइन होउची जा होउची इट इज गोइंग टू बी देयर बट आई थिंक एंड आल्सो अनिल जाजी थिला जे अनिल प्रधान वी कैन आल्सो यूज सम ऑफ हिज सर्विस सो एट लीस्ट टू गो एंड सी व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द ग्राउंड रियलिटी कोन होउची ग्राउंड रे सेटा को आगु को बढेया पाई आई इट इज गोइंग द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटी आकाश दास नाय सर कथा आइ परिबी कहिले आई कैन हैव अ वर्ड एंड वी कैन टेक हिम ऑन अ कॉल टू बुझेबा कोन आमे भलो कामटा करूचे and i am 100% sure he is he is quite uh, reasonable and he will uh, uh, 100% he is going to support and extend his support to go to school and college level hello sukanto you take that as a as a homework again i am taking two homework i will talk about mo school with nishikanto and i will talk again. to debi about ai in this context this forum and uh, this loco kala promotion of loco kala it simply said promotion of loco kala via this forum is perhaps your scope of your project at this moment or am i am i defining it wrong one path that got clear today was promotion of loco kala via this forum it's one path okay okay i will ask uh, last debi because debi debi is a hell of a lot smarter than i am <laughs> he's 12 14 15 years younger than i am he has a lot more energy than i have and um, he knows he's a he's a techie he knows the technical aspect of it i don't know how much he knows about ai because um, but but he's dabbling with it now um and he is is traveling to india but he, most of this work knowing ai he will be able to do it right from his home from his kitchen table if if the need be so let's uh, let's try thank okay. you thank you nitan bhai thank you anjan thank you himale so it's already 130 here in uk i'm going to Dojaf, uh, I was just checking what is going on now. So yeah, nice to see you, Nitin Bhai. Thank you so much. Jai Shri Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. I will also sign off on Jan, Imara, Manas, and Aditya. It was very nice meeting you guys. We are all connected. We are all connected. That is very. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Bye for now. जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ एम दे असले विजडम दे दे विजडम केते मिल गला ओ तापरे सो प्रणय भाई नमस्कार हां मानस नमस्कार नमस्कार एंड आई थिंक आई लॉकड अप फॉर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 9 आवर्स बट आई एम सीइंग योर फोटोज मैसेजेस यू नो But you know, generally, I think summary. I don't. The, what I feel is, is all work in progress, right? You know, uh, I believe uh, you know it's very good initiative, and I think uh, I know I joined for second year last year. I joined in uh, second year, but the more of your initiative has been very inspiring for all this Odia community we have globally. So, see those two. They clearly, I'm a progress. So, I mean, every year I think we're making a good. Uh, progress but i believe uh, energy da i think jo uh, time zone wise you know across the globe i believe samastangra rahiwa darkar i believe uh, you being uh, the pioneer and also around you so many nice young people uh, and the community around i'm sure they are all getting inspired uh, but yeah i believe man yaar but maturity da me define kar pa na we inspire each other we tap into each other's energy 
we lift each other yeah, that, that that's definitely that's a good point and muko uh, matlab actually see uh, we all come from uh, I, at least i come from a very uh, process background like you know literally executed all it processes you know through these three decades but the point is like you know amaro the same and just capability maturity jo model ame same karu so am odia is a very good thing you know what you uh, we are all i think you i think you are more active and uh, what i feel is yaar jo gote nomenclature wise ame koiba je etaro gote maturity level is hitting almost like uh, some percentage is quantifying is very difficult but yeah it's a progressive i think keep on continuing on a progressive scale uh, uh, yearly i think we can scale it up rather uh, putting a destined or more of a destination or a percentage now quantify kariki i think it should, should be work in progress like you know another come i think i am looking at it, the library uh, automation something somebody you have posted i think so see education healthcare our cross industry automation whatever you know because when we started writing code uh, i remember uh, i am a computer science and with the noana thila late in early 90s and all but jo i mean jate wale padithilu mane am mcr i remember odisha re hardly there was a college okay we to have you know computer science right and hetal ko amko ai padhya pai ko lecturer na thila am college re igit sarang i remember even nit rautla and igit sarang were the two institutes those days uh, had this pay in a subject as a computer engineering computer science papers ka ai pai amra astile iit kharagpur mane professor amko this saptah emiti ragadile and i remember and later on what you know we have done is only we learned auto list and prolog okay so that ai ra che dita language ami janitil ami commercially whatever automation has happened so eventually ami we thought okay whatever we are contributing in a small bits and pieces so there is what some dita lagala i think we are at a phase where uh, every generation i think every 5 year the new generation is coming in and uh, maturity ta asuchi jauchi but i believe it will be a work in progress i think ame jo ame dekho che indian policy say 2045 re kon hala and you know 50 re kon hava te agu kotha ta ame jani ne right so what we can do is current moment what uh, we are uh, you know selling or uh, you know uh, with a board together you know so uh, you know that that's a good part actually so history to galani future ta me janine so current thing what we can do but uh, quantifying and uh, you know putting uh, in a uh, pressure because i am really concerned and worried for you anjan and i see especially the and uh, you and the team around like you know especially it uh, across the time zone because i you won't believe my one of the past experience was i worked uh, 36 hours uh, that was my record so matlab i was at all i was cross uh, time zone re kaam kartulu deliveries and it was purely for europe time zone but in uh, that time also we were touching upon north america then uh, japan uh, singapore in till about the 36 30 40 hours where you really uh, shaking right i don't know how you are managing i know you took a break in between I was watching you at least i don't know if you got a nap or not but so but continuously i think it at the total 39 hours na kete hours anya total kete 40 39 mu sum kar do 39 hours no yeah total 39 so i think that's a great uh, i think uh, i don't know abe kete jana achan de but total uh, how many people are alive active now be there are there are people active so there is a there is a chapter presentation on uh, that's going to happen there are that's another okay. thing which is uh, yeah i know it's a morning for me i think you know you are still uh, going to go down to sleep today tonight or not for you california uh no it's uh, 5:37 for uh, manas and me uh, 5:37 okay. himalaya apan ko ko time zone re achanti मोटा भारत रे छ बंगलोर रे छ टेनो बंगलोर रे आपण हिमालय रीजन बंगलोर ओके 
I think uh, um, we can connect. I am in here in Balandur, Bangla, by the way. Oh, Balandur, okay, interesting. I am motivating here. I am in a little We are close by. Oh, I think we can connect. I think uh, that's a good thing. But the point is, and then I think I'm, uh, you know, I'm really happy. But equally, I think uh, uh, this kind of conference is good. But equally, it should not take a toll out of the health of everybody. Especially, I think you starting it and <laughs> ending it, you know, through the time zone. But anyway, the good thing is, you know, we are together and. Uh, so uh, I don't know, Majumajir, they got a lot of nice presentation yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, Jay, I think, uh, was there and a uh, couple of, I think I really enjoyed uh, uh, our uh, Malay, Malay Raut, I think, uh, really, I was, uh, before I log off, actually, 9 o'clock last night, but, you know, they fully, uh, so, I mean, I think he was talking a lot of in sync with what uh, I even also working on that same areas. So, but you know, actively it up rakhiya podyo. That is the tempo I think is required. I think uh, you know, highly energetic, uh, new, uh, young generation you are tapping in. That's really good. So uh, I hope. <laughs> I think my kids are connected to you, so now they are already also actively trying to do. But again, mainly age jo generation re they are. Uh, I don't know about Himalaya, but you know, uh, I mean, must be all Gen Z only, right? So the more of uh, actively, how much you know, uh, they can pursue, like, you know, it is our generation that is the Gen X, especially say, uh, but you know, continuing with uh, so much of automation with AI, uh, I think uh, how much patience people is going to retain or maintain, because ultimately mental health is going down, Anjan. Our patients, nahi, they are all losing this. So AI has a lot of plus hey. points, definitely. Hey, so, Pranav, hey, Pranav, hey, Chari yeah. 2020 hey, and that's the reason you have so today, right? I wouldn't yeah. take much credit yeah. for I wouldn't take much credit for what Sorup has done today, but there is yeah, very good. I should have heard him. Chari yeah. tole, Chari tole, 2020 is student volunteer thila, and he found it so. Correct, what correct. happens? Somebody has to do, and once the there is a web, right? The community yeah. will ride the web. So web creation takes a lot of energy, and that energy is going. Yeah. It's okay. This this is okay. I'm more energy. Is, uh, yeah, very much. I'm okay. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally with you, Anjan. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think uh, replicating actually, you know, um, so uh, sorry, not a in. Uh, uh, but yeah, I was listening to him yesterday. I think he has uh, Google DeepMind uh, uh, he has been acting on the you know, actively on that part, right? So, but what I'm saying is like you know, to retain and maintain is what is required. And I think uh, having uh, the I mean, after Gen G, there will be uh, I don't know. We are going to put a version around it G1, G2, G2, uh, G3 like that. God knows. But especially I think uh, that. Maintaining this and in progress, I think in this phase of the current, uh, you know, generation or current model, I think what we can contribute, I think they should, uh, what we all can put up. Uh, but, you know, actively the mission and uh, uh, the vision, I think, uh, uh, did we come up with that, uh, except that, you know, being the AI capital and all, the point is, uh, I know it could be a little aggressive, but I guess, you know, I think uh, it's a good part. I saw a lot of people from uh, non Odia community have joined, and uh, I don't know, there will be definitely a spearheading happening. So, I think the one way could be an inspiration for us. My sister, central government, call it Chaljechi. There are multiple people who have reached out to us. So what you guys are doing is amazing. Can, how, how can we help? Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. At a challenging message. Yeah, Mukana Mujo group press of share curly, I think, you know, uh, it, it has a major, I think, Odia, but said to be a Jetu Amaro community, Siama MSO, IJT background actually, NIT Raukala and IJT are very bonded those days in computer science. So Amos Angavana GV Podutla, NIT Raukla, Arisi Raukla, NIT Thilla, and Ebithala, but you know, 
ಜಾಯಿನ್ I don't know it could be a generation issue could be i think uh, uh, this is my summary what i feel as in the morning resign call what i'm saying is kali mo literally almost 12 plus hours uh, or more than that i think i was there and uh, actively just to give you na anjan sanavai gote so some let me be there let's see how we can value add or something you know so at least i try to be a good uh, uh you know uh, attending <laughs> so but in as listening and a lot of good things are happening and uh, i think jo bagare ame chotu chotu year so commercialized uh, tools banaitilo uh, uh, ai in the phase of direction towards ai ml uh, but yaar out kono na shiva god knows right next 5 year 10 years there will be some new names coming in but ai tag will be there around but uh, you know ai you know, ml dl uh, is happening but i think gen ai is another part but tara nuwa nuwa na we should be ready for any new names people are going to uh, phase out right you know so i think himalaya and uh, i think uh, uh, simanankar generation i think maybe they'll be able to say what are the new name but again so it's a choice my point is a jo community feeling ta na i think uh, anjan uh, i don't know are we doing something uh, culturally say mo actually i don't know how many of you uh, do you follow uh, this guy uh, he is in california by the way he is an also one of the main thinkers you know uh, dr chopra right you know this guy uh, he is in california right i think have you met him ana so the thinking uh, process i think how the culturally we have to bind the generations together you know so it's not easy to bring some uh, uh you know uh, ye kon tangna anjan uh, deepak chopra deepak chopra correct uh, i i've been following him last 8 10 years or something but in a more of you know <coughs> see culturally bind together and bringing our odia culture and i think cultural visar jane ke presentation kautile so that way i think uh, stitching those things together so that uh, uh, you know we don't lose out ambe kon hochi mat laguchi amar odia Uh, culture is getting diluted that's where uh, the sad part but uh, yeah i think this could be one of the niche initiatives and anjan like the uh, where i feel uh, uh, probably uh, through ai uh, but in uh, our generally at least we can retain and maintain some uh, cultural aspect uh, you know so that uh, maintaining kind of amaro say jin sat am with watch course i have been a visiting faculty but but corporate background but the more of uh, sitting and uh, uh, you know listening to youngsters and you know last uh, at least i would say last uh, you know 15 20 years now but more of uh, going there and talking to people and hiring also and hiring firing is all there but it's a more of getting to know the young mind what is happening across uh, you know indian culture or in, even in uh, i see talking to japanese people even in uh, ಸೊ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಜೋ ಭಾಗರೆ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಮರ ಸೈಟರೆ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೇಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಟೈನ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೇಗುಡ ಬಹುತ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವೇ ಹೂ ಓವರ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಕೈನ ಧೀರೆ ಧೀರೆ ಆಮರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲಾಗಿಲ್ಲಾಣಿ ಪಿಲಾಮನೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒಡಿಶಾ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೈಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಯುವಾನೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಏಠಿ ರಹಿಕಿ ಪಡಿಲೆ ಕಲೆ ಸೆ ಓಡಿಯಾ ಲೆಟರ್ ಸಿಖ್ಯಾಗು ನಾರಾಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಹೋಗಿ ನಾ ಕನ್ನಡ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲೆ ನಾ ಓಡಿಯಾ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂಡೇಟರಿ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಟೆನು sorry tumale and it is now mandatory in schools till class 5 or something yeah those it is jomane parenting college like you know unfortunately fortunately whatever i don't blame the generation but it's a phase i think right you know the bejo generation 80 roigale so they feel more bangalorean than odia but problem is 
are you really the local guy no are you really even uh, so imbibing the culture and everything is not an easy job but what you brought up and then that you know college jo mo kotha thile i think for you still it is time but kemiti odia ru kannada kannada ru odia how people but you know automating the life is easy but people are also ignoring the fact like you know ame to technology re achi architect banele software banele sab karchanti still people will going to continue to do that but the thing is sevitre amara the basic uh, thing you know you know is getting diluted mo majare mon achi mo odia ra amara je chua time re sab bahi ani ki i try to you know push it but it doesn't work because school re sane as himale said you know fifth re parjanta you know so eighty ta out of prakara i think what you have understood i think anjan the local language set or priority kemte set kariba to more se jins re auchi odisha re seta bodu habani because ame tike bodu jo kon din alu bhai gane bole misi jan di sab jage re sab ye re ame samasta mu invite karche bhuvaneshwar mu dekhtile i kind of last couple of years and partially i'm living also in odisha but in laguchi je se bhitare amra language ta mane ame bhuvaneshwar re i see lot of nearby states are all fully getting क्राउडेड आमे से क्राउड वार्ड ता कहले डेंजरस हो आमे समस्त हम सहित आमे तो मिसि के रहो छे समस्त सहित भलो भलो बट से जेंस ता आईटी बी लागुतला बेंगलोर 25 वर्ष 30 वर्ष तळे बट इन एबे सिचुएशन सर वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड चैलेंजिंग एंड नाउ हैविंग ए व्हीकल इन बेंगलोर इज बीइंग ए रिस्की इफ यू आर ए नॉन कन्नडिगा पर्सन व्हीकल एंड इफ यू आर ड्राइविंग अराउंड और इफ यू आर हैविंग ए you know uh, you know dependency on you you have to de- depend if you are getting out of the house right so kon ta kon nabo auto nabo ki taxi nabo ki bus nabo ki metro nabo whatever it is dependency is becoming like that so sabu jako ame global village kim the kare anja seita jaruri i feel uh, samastham ko we cannot bring a, a parity across and uh, see jin sata uh, khali ame ai tool re ame banai de pariwa je हाँ ओडिया लोक कनाडा केमती कह एंड सो दैट आई कैन हैव वॉइस टू टेक्स्ट एंड टेक्स्ट टू यू नो वॉइस और कंप्यूटर बी ए वॉइस टू वॉइस एज वेल यू नो ट्रांसलेटिंग थ्रू द मोबाइल सो दैट्स ए थिंग यू नो मे बी गोटे एक्चुअली आई कीप ऑन गाइडिंग कपल ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स यू नो सेमतिरे भी चली जे बट नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट ओडिया टू कनाडा राइट देयर आर सो मेनी अदर लैंग्वेजेस इन इंडिया बेंगलोर जो रहउछंती से माने कहउछंती यार तमे जो मानकर ओडिसा रो साउथ ओडिसा रो बैकग्राउंड से माने के जण तेलुगु आछन तो ओडिया छुआ माने तेलुगु कोइ पडछन तो ओडिया छुआ माने तेलुगु कोइ परबे कनाडा मैनेज कर परबे राइट सो इट्स अ क्रॉस लिंग्विस्टिक इन इंटीग्रेशन सिचुएशन सो एनी अमु बजे वेसी ज्ञान दे देले कि कहि देले समथिंग अंजन बट इशूज आर आई थिंक दिस आर ऑल ग्रेट ग्रेट थॉट्स प्लीज feel free and uh, we will in uh, if we have a no barrier to entry policy right so yeah yeah which is which is good yeah so i think you know today uh, you know we are alive and the current uh, time is passing through us and uh, what we can contribute and value add that should be the objective and uh, hope uh, the new generation take the torch uh, you know forward and i think more of uh, that is where the sensitivity and you know all this uh, integration aspect culturally ho ki joda ho bada so kimte kari hobo that will be a big challenge because odia ro culture ta ame kimte retain kari aje kali ki odisha ta gote another california no no he jao but california re bhi same challenges are happening bangalore challenges are i could see that in california the point is you know seasons ra ko climatically is also getting affected ame technology ra ache but we are equally generating co2 level uh, with so much of techy stuff happening but you know so uh, i am into also renewable energy thing you know so there be amra etare ka co2 emission kemtir ko level re ame contribute karu che so there be what i think should be a factor so anyway i think uh, back to you anjan You continue i think pochar dala tum or suddenly i was so excited as today was listening but you know absolutely bhai uh, please i mean um, apano 
global village kohileni culture kohileni so it triggered a lot of thinking right ame mu suni suni ke asi je we are a cultural organization our objectives are different then my counter question was what how do you define culture we say work culture we say societal culture how do you define culture what are the looks and feel of a culture and i was trying to bring in fluid dynamics and then tell him all <laughs> bring in him all us into that so <laughs> kind of uh, 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 crazy correlation uh, they say correlation is not causation but this this interdisciplinary thinking uh, is probably an opportunity we have and that's where so i would like to bring in manas has been silent yeah manas. Yeah, I think you know. Yeah, Manas, where is he located? And you are in both in California, is it? Huh. Okay. Very rare. Now, about culture, what I was going to say. Look, the AI is ultimately AI is a tool. Upon choosing the cut, I mean, cut the part, then I can go see the part. So, wherever the culture is, or whatever the thing I was going to say, AI is just a tool. Ultimately, who local can be used for this is very different for you. जो निज लांगुएज के निज कल्चर प्रति जदि इम्पोर्टेन्स फील कर लोक से आई द्वारा आम मोर एंड मोर इनफर्मेशन दे पार कि जो शोथ्वा पुओ को जगे पार नहीं आप रईट यू कैन ब्रिंग ए हर्स टू व्टर यू कैन मेक दम ड्रिंक इट तो आप इवेन ओडा कथ कौन भुवनेश्वर भुवनेश्वर लोक जी सब कलेज हिंदी कथा कहते हैं बिकज दे फिल इट इज लाइक मान पश जी हिंदी कथिंग इन ओडिया इवेन आप देखार डिफरेन्ट 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 डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिफरेन्ट डिफरेन्ट कलोकियाल डायलेक्ट अच्छी भुवनेश्वर वाला को पूरी डायलेक्ट रहा कहीदे तार आखिर देखिए कि पूरी स्टाइल रे कहू जी ए मालिक है एडा कहि दिले एग्जैक्टली वेरी नाइस मानस आई थिंक दैट दिस वाज द अदर फनी थिंग यू नो मोटिके सी अंजन नो नो ऑफेंस और अदरवाइज यू नो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इन अ वे आई स्टेड अवे फ्रॉम लॉट ऑफ आवर ओन ओडिया कम्युनिटीज वेदर ऑन दिल्ली रे थी देन आई केम टू बैंगलोर एंड आई देन वेंट टू यूएस एंड केम बैक The point is, you know, we keep on hiring because okay, our own Odia local, whether co district or but at the moment, even if you hired the own same person or Manachi, see, doesn't matter whether you get that respect, you know, ki are uh, this person has hired me into the company and let me be little honest and you know suddenly see I I literally lived around uh, five to six district of Odisha. So more problem was he kind of. I don't identify myself as a more Odia or area or sell area or local only because career to Padela selling India to the world. But the point is, Odia identity has created a lot of rather problem for us than because Amar bhitra bhitra hi problem. See, koi was a puri jindi exactly what you said. You know, say more of voice or some Odia style da maybe something will be there. Will be some current is I think links will be there, but I believe. My parents also kind of tanko chakar. I am a bit of Bihar guy. So, what is it? Koila Kora Putia. That is why I am saying Koila. Hey, Gonja me. You know, this is the hostel. That I am surrounded. We have been literally, you know, had differences of mind, ragging. Jo utla se the bolle. So, just to drag people down, you know, a a bhasa re odia coach re baba. So, so the point is, and you are trying to. Uh, see, uh, you know, then Sambalpur, uh, that area also I lived around, uh, visited a lot of relatives, Rokala, so on, you know. So both east, west, north, south, when you and Kolandi, Balangir, area, I literally tried to speak all those local, you know, what you said, but you cannot jail with everybody. Say, local Kali just keep on waiting. This is our Odia problem, Kali no. Odisha is the same problem. Jaa chhi, Eti Karnataka ra chhi, ki Bandra ra chhi, ki. बॉटम लाइन एक्चुअली 
ଜଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେଙ୍ଗଲରେ
then that's the reason they're migrating right yeah. why you had poets and others uh growing in the older age where you had kings because kings were patterns of art tanko khaya piyar kichu asudha nahi so they khali basile basi ki thought karle ki painting karle ki philosophy bhavile e sab karle so ame jete ja culture katha bhi kahile the only reason you can preserve culture is once you have taken care of other uh, basic necessities so um can ai help in getting th- getting us through those basic maslow's hierarchies uh, for the for the common people say it at the care for you if if uh, ai can help address that then uh, we would be starting to looking at self realization culture as of then so how to uh, do more and more uh, artistic uh, stuff using right right side of the brain more and more all that stuff will be used more तो मैं यार कोई नहीं होता है। हमें जितने हमें most of the people जो भाभी भी culture भी सरे, we we are people who are in a little bit better state as compared to others, okay, financially or anything, uh, at least in a secured manner. Um, जो मैंने कहा पाई जो दी daily living की at least they haven't achieved whatever uh, a bare minimum living standards, तो मैंने ऐसे भी देखी बनी, and that is the truth. Makes sense. आ बाय द मोटिक इंटरप्रेट करके कोटे कंक्रीट क्वेश्चन पचेर परबे के हम्म मो जगह सल कोटिनी अच्छा तो कथले माने मु जस्ट कोथली जे माने सुजनिक बोली कोटे अनुष्ठान अछि ओडिसा रे तो से माने बहुत किछु करिछन कि आपको ओडिसा पई माने विज्ञान दिगंत हरिका काढुथिला गरु बट वन ऑफ द मेजर थिंग दैट माने दे हैव रियली डन इज कि से माने ओडिया रो बहुत बही को स्कान करिकी तार स्कान कॉपी माने नाउ इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट आई जस्ट पोस्ट द वेबसाइट ए जगह रे गोटे दिन से मो आ सबमिशन भाई माने से भी ओडिसा रो माने प्रत्युष भाई सुभाषस भाई एमटी मिस के भाबुथलो कि कैन वी माने यूज ओसीआर टू जस्ट एको टेक्स्ट फॉर्म रे कन्वर्ट करिवा पई एंड कि ना वंस यू हैव इट इन टेक्स्ट फॉर्म तापर बहुत किछ सहज हो जेबा राइट लाइक जो कंप्यूटेशनल लिंग्विस्टिक टूल्स आई कैन के जो भाषा को आप अपन कर मन एनालाइज करया जाए बाय यू राइट मन ये राइट मन लाइक एसेंशियली वंस यू हैव इट इन टेक्स्ट फॉर्म यू कैन डू अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स मुझे स्पेशली मन इफ एनी मन लाइक एनीवन हैज एनी एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस और मन हैज सम इंटरेस्ट टू हेल्प आउट काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो प्रश्न ओटी हो जी जे ओसीआर व्यवहार करे कि जो बोली ओडिया बोली को ताको टेक्स्ट रे कन्वर्ट करते या तो एग्जैक्टली कथला नो बही पे इट्स इजी बट पुराना जे टू प्रिंट अछि लाइक 1900 रे अछि बा 1940 रे अछि सो ए फोन तक ऊपर ट्रेनिंग करबा माने एग्जैक्टली सो वन वुड बी एन टेक्स्ट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन राइट मेस टू टेक्स्ट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन एना जदि खराब हो जाय थिबो माने को लेखा को स्टाइल को फॉन्ट विन टू रिकंस्ट्रक्ट देम इनटू अ स्टैंडर्ड वन ताको स्टैंडर्ड वन करी के ताको बहुत शेयर करा कर गले हो बस टू स्टेज प्रोसेस राइट राइट हमरो स्टेप 1 टा प्रॉब्लम हो बिकॉज़ हममे जानिनु केमिति को फॉन्ट रे थिबो कोन कथा बट एआई ओडा दैट्स अ कैरेक्टर रिकॉग्निशन थिंक कैरेक्टर रिकॉग्निशन एंड कैरेक्टर रिकंस्ट्रक्शन टास्क्स राइट अम अगेन मु कोयर कथा थियो थ्योरेटिकली हे जिवो इट वाज वाज मु भाषण इट्स डन फॉर इंग्लिश इट विल बी डन फॉर ओडिया माने तनो सेटर तो किछि नहीं सो व्हाट व्हाट इट नीड्स इज मु कहू मु एटा कहू थ्योरेटिकली व्हेन आई से दैट माय माइंड रे ब्लॉक अछि एम टीम टी हे जिवो राइट सो व्हाट यू नीड टू गेट अ इनपुट सोर्स क्रिएट अ लेयर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड रिकॉग्नाइज एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्ट हम्म एंड गो हेड विथ नॉर्मल नॉर्मल ओसीआर जोटा काम करू छी सो ऐड वन रिकॉग्नाइज एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्ट लेयर दैट इज व्हाट वी नीड टू बिल्ड मीनिंग अपन जे लेखा ट नबो लेखा ट नेकी अक्षर ट तयारी करबो मो पता से खबर नाही ओडिया पई होबो कि नाही टेसराक्ट टेसराक्ट करी होबो बदे एंड सीडाक रे गोटे ता प्रोजेक्ट चालथला राइट अच्छा सीडाक रे जो प्रोजेक्ट अपन सुभाषस कथा कहलो सुभाषस को जणा जणा थिबो को सीडाक रे को प्रोजेक्ट चालथला अच्छा अपन यदि स्पेसिफिक रेफरेंस दरकार हमें विवेक भाई नंग पाक को जाई कि नै आस परबा विवेक पाणी अच्छा विवेक पाणी मो एक्चुअली जानि न माने सुभाषस भाई कोइ भेन आई जस्ट न्यू हिम लाइक वन ईयर बैक मन ताकु मो बि आगुरु जानि न थिले सुभाषस पाणी ग्राही अपन को सुआ प्रोजेक्ट सोमेंद्र को मतलब कॉल करथली सोमेंद्र वाज माय सुभाषस नो आई थिंक आई स्पोक टू सुभाषस फर्स्ट मो प्रथम सुभाषस संगे कथा आइथली ट्विटर फोन नंबर देई कि सुभाषस संगे कथा आइथली सुभाषस संगे कथा पर सुभाषस सोमेंद्र को जोड 
ଯେ ୱିକିପିଡିଆ ଏସ ବର୍ତ୍ତମାନ କାନାଡା ରେ ଅଛନ୍ତି ତାଙ୍କ କଥା ବୁଝ ସେଇ ସୁହାସେ ସେଇ ସୁହାସେ ସେ ସୁହାସେ ସେତେବେଳେ ଭାରତ ରେ ଥିଲେ ଆଉ ମୋଜିଲା ରେ କାମ କରୁଥିଲେ ମୁଁ ଦେଖିଲି ଓଡିଆ ରେ କିଏ କାମ କରୁଛନ୍ ସବୁ ଉଡି ବେସି ସେଇ ପେ ଦେଖିଲେ ସୁହାସେ ପାଣି ଗ୍ରାହି ତାଙ୍କୁ ମେସେଜ କଲି ତାଙ୍କୁ ଫୋନ କରିଥିଲି ମୁଁ ତ ସୁହା ପ୍ରୋଜେକ୍ଟ ଆରମ୍ଭ କରିବାର ସେଉଠୁ ତାପରେ ସେସଙ୍କର ଗୋଟେ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଭିୟୁ ଅଛି ଲାଇକ ସେ ବି ଆମର 2020 କନଫରେନ୍ସ ରେ ଦେଖିବେ ବିଜୟ ଲକ୍ଷ୍ମୀ ହି ୱାଜ ଆକ୍ଚୁଅଲି ହୋଷ୍ଟିଂ ଏ ପ୍ୟାନେଲ ଆପଣ କନଫରେନ୍ସ ରେ ଓଡିଆ ଏ କନଫରେନ୍ସ କୁ ଯାଇ ଦେଖିବେ ସୁଭାଷ ଏ ପ୍ୟାନେଲ ସୁଭାଷ ଇଜ ଇଣ୍ଟ୍ରୋଡ୍ୟୁସ ମିସ ଟୁ ସୋମେନ୍ଦ୍ର ଓକେ ସୋମେନ୍ଦ୍ର ଗଟ ଇନଭଲ୍ଡ ଇନ ସୁଆ ଏଜ ଅ ଟେକ୍ନିକାଲ ପର୍ସନ ସୋମେନ୍ଦ୍ର ବ୍ରଟ ଇନ ସୁବଦର୍ଶୀ ଟିକେ ହିଷ୍ଟ୍ରି ହେଇ ଯାଉଛି ଏ କମ୍ୟୁନିଟର ସୋମେନ୍ଦ୍ର ସୁବଦର୍ଶୀ ସୋମେନ୍ଦ୍ର ଏଣ୍ଡ ସୁବଦର୍ଶୀ ବିଲ୍ଡ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ଇଞ୍ଜିନ ଫର ସୁଆ ଆଚ୍ଛା ଆପଣ ଟ୍ୱିଟର ରେ ବି ଯାଇ ଦେଖି ଯେ ସୁଆ ପ୍ରୋଜେକ୍ଟ ଯେ ପାରାଲଲ ଟ୍ରାନ୍ସ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ୱାଜ ଆକ୍ଟିଂ ଏଜ ଏ ସୋର୍ସ ଅଫ ଡାଟା ଦେନ ଆଇ ଲୁକ ଫର ଲାଇକ ହୁ ଆର ଦି ଟେକ୍ନିକାଲ ପର୍ସନ ହୁ ୱର୍କ ଡନ ଆଇ ଲୁକଡ ଇନଟୁ ରିସର୍ଚ୍ଚ ପେପର୍ସ ହୁଁ ଆ ସତ୍ୟରଞ୍ଜନ ଦାସ ଏଣ୍ଡ ଶାନ୍ତି ପ୍ରିୟ ପରିଡା ଦିସ ଟୁ ସ୍କଲର ଆପଣ ଯେ ଓଡିଶା ରେ ଆପଣଙ୍କର ହଁ ଦେ ଆର ପବ୍ଲିସିଂ ସମ ପେପର୍ସ ଆଇ ଥିଙ୍କ ଓସିଆ ରେ ଉପରେ ଅଛନ୍ତି ସେମ ମାନ କଥା କହୁଛନ୍ତି ତ ନାଇଁ ମୋର ଜଣେ ବନ୍ଧୁ ଥିଲେ ନାଇଁ ସେତେ ବେଳେ ଆମେ ଖୁଜା ଚାଲୁ ଯେତେବେଳେ ଦେଖିଲା ଇଟ୍ସ ଅ ସ୍କଲରଲି ଥିଙ୍ଗ ସ୍କଲରଲି କିଏ ସଲ୍ଭ କରୁଛନ୍ତି ଇଂଲିଶ ଟୁ ଓଡିଆ ମେସ ଇନ ଟ୍ରାନ୍ସଲେସନ ଖୁଜା ଚାଲଲା ମୁଁ ମୋର ଜଣେ ବନ୍ଧୁ କୁ କହିଲି ଯେ ମତେ ଖୁଜି କି ଦିଓ ଓଡିଆ ରୁ ଇଂଲିଶ ବା ଇଂଲିଶ ରୁ ଓଡିଆ କିଏ କୋ ପ୍ରଫେସର କରି ଜନ୍ତି ସେ ଖୋଜିଲେ ସେ ଖୋଜି କି ତାଂ ଖୋଜି ଖୋଜି କି ତୁମ କହିଲେ କହିଲେ ମତେ କାଇ ଏ କାମ ଦଉଛ ମୋର କାମ ଅଲଗା ମୋ ପ୍ରୋଫାଇଲ ଖରାପ ହେଇ ଯିବ ସେ ମୋର ଜଣେ ବନ୍ଧୁ କାଇ ନା ଏକାଡେମିକ ସେମାନେ ତାଙ୍କ ପ୍ରୋଫାଇଲ ଜାନ୍ତି ଓ ମୁଁ ତାଂ କହିଲେ ସାଙ୍ଗ ହିସାବରେ କର ରାଇଟ ଆଇ ତ ଆଇ କାଜୁଆଲ ହିମ ଟୁ ଡୁ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ଆଚ୍ଛା ଦେନ ହି ଗଟ ମି ଇନଟୁ ହି ଗଟ ମି ଇନ ଟଚ ୱିଥ ଦିସ ଟୁ ନେମ୍ସ ସୋ ଫାଇଣ୍ଡିଙ୍ଗ ସତ୍ୟରଞ୍ଜନ ଦାସ ଏଣ୍ଡ ଶାନ୍ତି ପ୍ରିୟ ପରିଡା ଟୁ ଓ ସରି ସରି ରଂ ହଁ ମାନେ ମୁଁ ଓକେ ଆଇ ଜଷ୍ଟ ଗୁଗଲ ନେମ ଓକେ ବୁଝିଲେ right right so then we found then we got together then what happened is then sua project continued right uh, mm-hmm. then somendra you know so then when we were building sua we found that we are ridiculously short of machine learning engineers right we mm-hmm. are not finding people who understand machine learning bujhale samaste so we did not find then we said okay let's build a community because ai mm-hmm. is going to be a field which is going to be booming so our community needs to be ready for it mm-hmm. right we are not able to find machine learning engineers to build our machine translation right mm-hmm. hard few people were able to understand right i made a presentation on lstm in bay area uh, the, you know who are the people who responded an 11 year 11 year old kid satvik panigrai you see satvik panigrai was the speaker of the 2020 conference okay, okay? N- none of the tech guys responded right i think manos you were there in that uh, presentation ha oh, 28 ramaj aithilu sumanth bhai ko ghar jo presentation ta aithila hmm ha so, mu lst your presentation landison amaro technical lo kei bujhno thile only satvik pani great did it right so now that's when we took a result that like, let's build a community right hmm. and that is where this samanu jo pacharli samanu jo bhai apan it re achhi sam he was chief of data quest and he had so many things so samanu jhai got me together with a few people damodar bhai he 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 got me okay okay got it samanu jhai yesterday we paid tribute to him right he is no more he is he is no more so he he got us linked with he had that odia culture handle mm-hmm. okay so then because he was odia culture handle lok so to sabale bhalo kharap kahanti tang bhi bhalo kharap kothre but we we got together then he got us in right set of people then the movement started building so sua took attraction took attention of the big tech if we don't solve our problem ame jodi am problem solve na kariba pruthvi ke ke problem solve karibe ni right when sua took there was an internal effort called uh, by manoj patra bhai google re thile se right mm-hmm. manoj patra bhai like uh, manoj patra bhai was in google see he he made that effort internally we we made that social pressure we made that open source so when when a big tech knows that there is a movement happening they will try to build that product because building this is easy for them and extremely difficult for us mm-hmm. so what we need to do is build the movement so that big tech does, does why big tech will do big tech will is saying that do i have a market if mm-hmm. i have a market i'll do then when you make noise big tech will start okay how what, what is the 40, 45 million people
so that was a history uh, you know so so that that is a snowballing that's a moment right sometimes mm -hmm. what happens is we have new members coming in like and and we try to impose our ideas right but we welcome everyone with with open hands but what happens is when you don't understand the context what happens is it it becomes a place it becomes a platform where you bring in your weight but you do not know where the pivot is so when you bring mm -hmm. in the weight and you don't know where the pivot is you will get into an imbalanced state now mm -hmm. As you will get in balancing it out not only somebody who new come in and old people will get so 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 that those are the nuances of a community ecosystem building so mm -hmm. our is ecosystem because one plus one should be 11. exactly so somebody Su subramaniam said said it it is elon musk the when when did elon musk steal my uh, quote <laughs> mm -hmm. so so, so that's the idea ecosystem is basically making one plus one ecosystem is an extremely complex system mm -hmm. right uh, uh, the people who uh, why i was telling uh, fluid dynamics is fluid you know everybody knows fluid but try to map a map a physical system with a fluid system everybody knows society consciousness stream and all those things now think a stream of consciousness now try to try to create a model of that stream of consciousness how do we build <laughs> what is that frame of reference now there we go okay so who who got me talking like this was it Him himalaya yeah, yeah. Okay, i'll i'll keep mom now no no it, it's good to know at least the history you know like it's good for us new joiners to know the history of the community like man energy code was energy eight has recalling the glory Re recalling the work that is done you know it is definitely um, very uh, it will be inspiring in the future no, you recalling the glory i think you have a lot of uh, more glories to achieve on their way and uh, i mean commendable work no doubt like pulling this off um my uh, jv also is almost the organizing team so much the it's, it's like hats off uh empty border dharana with the border scale for event uh propul korea uh it is a garu bivina local kuaniba um bivina national digital local kuaniya africa local kuaniya so the man uh, had a mind blowing Thank you. So, it is ODIA. So, some of the person that is an ODIA icon, a Kali ODIA. No, we are not. We are not narrow, parochial, chauvinist people. We are, we are, we are loose definition of ODIA, right? Anyone who is who call himself to be happy to be an ODIA is an ODIA, right? That that's that simple thing. So, Africa, Rujanko, and you like he there was a chance encounter and uh, okay welcome in you know you want to be participating sure this is this is the community so so what do you want to do so what you are doing for the community so he is a, a co good samaritan network is it uh, we have extremely good samaritan how many people are in that community now about four four hundred four hundred some people we have 400 good samaritan there come talk about your good good um, good samaritan story to me thank you Nice, uh, nice to hear. Long way to go. Yes, definitely. Both Bata Jivarachi. A Pardunta, the Gote Soru Pulia, Gotegi, Aukichi, Abangaran Jolla Company, Hauki Jabu, Privacy Company, Hojabu. All these are like just starting point. I think a lot to cover. So Himalayas, oh, thank you. <laughs> so Rupa from Manapala, Himalayas, what? Upon a PhD physics very concourse on the way. At uh, okay, I mean, uh, actually, when I was a postdoc, I had a madras, a kitchen, a spiny lit, upper move, and I switched to math finance. At the Mugolman sex, a camacotli for I think I don't know, two, two and a half years, upper a bitch, a special camacotchi. Chakoli, get so many camacotchi on the Dunku. Injury hunter, man, like uh, okay, fine, man. To be honest, that's probably a, a 
Oh, hold on, more recording stop for those so that we will have a better. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. To be honest, privately, I'm okay. because I don't necessarily don't want to be in corporate for long, so I work three, four hours. But of course, investment bank usually pressure both are the time. People work oh, like 20 hours. 20 hours they work. Not 20. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, consulting hari kare both kama adhi khatai, but quantitative re nai, no das ghanda ka pilo ko kama karanti. I mean, you cannot do that. I mean, I see people in San Francisco, people, people in San Francisco at 3 a.m. coming back home and 8 a.m. going back to office. It depends on your skill set, right? For example, Goldman Sachs says that if you have 10,000 employees, there are 45,000 employees. So most of them will be, for example, lawyers or tax or accountants. Like things where you are replaceable, so you have to put in a lot more work, for example, right? But if you have just a quantitative person who are doing just coding or mathematics, they don't work so hard. They work 12 hours, but not more. So you are a PhD in physics, right? Physics, right. Okay, okay. I know there's no amount of maths. But because you have a reasonable amount of exposure to mathematics and understanding, so you have investment banking. Exactly. So we will welcome Miss Sasi Bala. Um, you are welcome. We are we are we are having a free wheeling conversation about. We started with uh, computational fluid dynamics, physics, uh, society, the stream of consciousness, uh, the culture as a fluid entity, and now identity. So so it's a free flowing conversation that's going on around the impact and consequences of of AI. Where it is going next? Please feel free to join us in uh, Miss Sasi Bala. Um, let's continue our conversation. I, I want to make sure that I acknowledge the presence. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Sir, how many people have been coached? By the way, I don't know, like, are you younger or older? I mean, it's a big deal. I don't know, sir. No, I mean, it's mostly a big deal. Okay, okay, fine. Can you do this video? Actually, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. See? Manoj, we have a young deal. We have a big deal. No, we have a big deal. No, more actress versa, I think, around. Okay, okay, okay. But who is the math? I mean, math is the math. I mean, essentially, probability, statistics, stochastic calculus, coding, these are the bread and butter, right? So, math finance is the same thing, so you get some. Well, in investment banking as such, there's a lot of AI and high-frequency trading that are already used. So, are you helping? I mean, तमे देखो चकी फ्यूचर र तमे हेल्प कर पेरी वो इन फाइन ट्यूनिंग एनी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रेडिंग मॉडल्स। नहीं तो बने मने मरो पर्सनली तो ये ऊपरे कामों करी वो को इतने मने इट्स नॉट माय पर्सन कहीं कि ना मने लाइक इवन कॉर्पोरेट इट्सेल्फ मने मूव बढ़े और ड्यूटी निबर्स कामों करी भी नॉट मोर in fact, I have a lot of people who have been in the past. I mean, like, when I was in Odisha, for example, Olympic... Okay, I should not digress so much. Just that, I mean, we have a school-level education. We are trying to do something, mostly in Odisha, but also elsewhere. So, education is focused on education. Or maybe I'll come back to academia in two, three years, become a faculty. It's very easy to teach. So, that's our life goal. So, I mean, AI is not my passion. That's not my passion. No, no, definitely. I mean, I passion not have it, but I guess even if we're talking about education. But I'm aware of what is happening. I mean, for example, जो मैंने कहीं ले कि कथा ले, for example, like let's take Goldman Sachs. The most, the major way they're using AI is, I mean, two ways. I mean, कथा ले कि कौन की बहुत गुड़ा है operations था है, जो उसे मैंने हुई शोज़ डन manually. For example, some trader writes a shorthand. It has to be kind of expanded into a legal form, right? So those things are, I mean, they take main power, right? Now, men power also makes errors. Then what is my name? I have a question that I have to use AI to do this expansion. So, I have to use the operation set mostly used. Now, it is also used for certain very quantitative tasks like we have algo trading data use, but that's mostly because it's a prop trading. I don't know. I think it still has a long way to go. We are nowhere close to making money using AI. People keep losing money a lot. Um, to just use synthetic, like to create synthetic data, Mane, that is another use. Uh, but uh, but Apunankara Jo to replace algorithms, I think AI has a long way to go, at least few more years. 
माने दस दिस आंसर माने मोचुली माने आई वाज अनश्योर माने अपन कोन पछत थले नहीं 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 वो जस्ट समथिंग खाली क्यूरियस थली बिकॉज़ आई थिंक हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रेडिंग रे सब माने द द मार्केट्स आर वोलेटाइल जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रेडिंग सब वो जगह हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रेडिंग यूज हो छि बेली हेते पई एते वोलेटाइल रो छि मार्केट um india uh, uh, throughout the day kata kai bi kono us re ta aur beshi volatile ra se india is i think much better than us man about just stock exchange mechanism dekhi ba ta man they have stop loss i mean they have like they have multiple things i think india has taken care to man be man ha better man ha it's not like free flowing capitalism yet uh, so exactly so uh, check some on this is ki india has a way more day traders even hmm. despite apan jo bhi aap kholi ba apan ko kahe ba ki 90% day traders lose money Hmm. but still people keep trading. what can you do, right? Ninja got the record very much on the right. Ninety-three percent future options traders. Money. Are? I'm asking. India are maximum record day day traders in spite of knowing that they they lose money. Man, I think it's because you are very confident in yourself, but I'm not sure. I beg your pardon. माने मते लेगु छि कि भारतरी लोक भाबंदी कि अन्य कारण हो आमे करि रहो माने ठीके विश्वास बहुत अधिक आता है बट आई कैन बी रॉन्ग शर्मा जी का लड़का जो नहीं शर्मा जी का लड़का रेफरेंस जो नहीं कि लोक सब वाले दियंती से सेटा सब वाला चली आछि सो को शर्मा जी का लड़का किए सक्सेसफुल हे गला डे ट्रेडर हे कि तो तार देखि दी कि समस्त एवरीवन वांट्स टू लाइक अ क्विक क्विक रिच हवा को इच्छा so plus on top of it uh, indians indian population in general i think is very malleable and very easily influenced so tame tanku jodi influencers use kari ki dekhe ba ki mu day trading kari ki futures and options trading kari ki i got a porsche i got a ferrari e kari kari be but sab maadi maadi basbe because the overall competition as such is so high that everyone wants to break out of the rat race or the supposed rat race that they have right now so anything to get out of that so even though they might think that the downside might be really high still semane chesta korchanti just like any other rat right if you put multiple rats into a maze um so what they would do is the same thing so i mean you cannot help it but that is the boon and the the bane of any uh, good population like we have a really high and young population so tar boon bhi achi ban bhi achi exactly so, that's the thing but coming back to ai use of ai i mean even though you might not be using now um tama investment banking re i think even as an educator you would need it um <laughs> so i think achi tatha bhi janiya ta darkar padibo no no i i want man i know man as much as man someone who is not researching or not working on it knows man i know mm-hmm. reasonable amount okay. kintu man till you get your hands dirty you man code up some man llm man you do not know what is happening right to mu sei sare pele ke man i man i do not know anything about mm-hmm. ai yeah no no every time i mean i think you have done uh, phd post doc i mean uh, so and education is your uh, passion so mm-hmm. i don't think it is it has a problem on pai yeah okay thank you yeah let's see so how expensive is a quantitative firm right i don't want to do any of my quantitative here i want to do every quantitative in india right specifically uh, mm-hmm. in odisha so how much investment i should look for if i per unit if mm-hmm. I to you know hire a quant quantitative uh, specialist quantitative analyzer but basically who what type of quant mane apan ko math finance katha ko chante na mane it will be easier if you expand kai ki na finance math math finance yeah, uh, for my financial products right why do i get the service here i should rather get no 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 so uh, just clarify ko chhi mane apan ko mane gote to hela jo just finance accounting se gude ko that's a separate field mu math finance jo ko chhi mane investment banking math finance to i am that one that one that one apan jo accounting ko chunde that is uh, a relatively easy field old field, uh, okay right mm-hmm. the new field so what the the simple thing is i'm full more base but the money is like around mane 40 lakhs per year or some bonus ta upare at but that's usually on the higher end man apan kar okay to be honest depends again under mane qualifications how come upare 
I mean, it can range from anywhere between many 15 lakhs to 60 lakhs, uh, depending on mean, what is the requirement of who, mean, what's the exact work that you want. So, ebbe jodi ame, ebbe jodi tike global chinta kariwa, right? Apna jo, you know, numbers ko hile. So, jo numbers the mm -hmm. Bangladesh re dekhiwa ki, Nigeria re dekhiwa ki, Ethiopia re dekhiwa, I'll have a cost advantage, right? Or uh, Entry cost ta besi hobo, but operating cost ta kam hobo. Huh? Jadi mu Bharat tar ek oruchi, taale entry cost kam hobo. Kaya na samasthe English jandi thik rabo jandi and operating cost besi hobo. So a little bit kaya ki na sorry sorry to interrupt, kintu some oh, sorry I'll let you finish first. Ha huh? sorry mu mati ke abhyas achi majhe interrupt kardi ba please I'll let you finish. No 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 good good you you got the essence continue. Uh, nahi, Mukherjee, man, actually, man, apna kora, man, mujhe koh chali manas pahin ko ki, man, probability, statistics, stochastic calculus, or coding, man, all these forces are required apna kora math finance jobs, right? And it is a bit of a specialized field. Then, usually, most of the time, it's not about man, cost counting. It's more about getting the right candidate. Man, to give an example, amma HSBC ra more firm le, they have been still trying to man, these jana samne. Achhi data position phanka achhi. Now it is empty since last one and a half years. They have not been able to find anyone with the right seniority. I mean, junior level sport, I mean, feel a bit like it's hard to But just giving an example. Then, I mean, for certain niche fields, it's a bit tricky. Like for example, hedge funds. I mean, upon kora, I mean, they are not there to cost cut, right? They are there to just get the right people who have the right, I mean, skill set to. Uh, I think. Just to add on to that, right? Uh, for finance firms who actually handle a lot of money, uh, <laughs> the downside of hiring a poor candidate, the like cost cutting, upon operational cost cutting, kotha kothla, on the way, you might be. It might be easy to set up at some other place, right? But the if the if there is a cost cutting on the quality of the people, then the loss is more exponential. So you. You cannot you cannot afford to uh, do that. Because quote if future options call re ete te loss kar jibo jani jadi you have got really bad people who is giving you bad advice. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Ha, um, coming back to jadi Odisha re setup kora chahu jo. Uh, I, I think I would probably suggest against it right now. Kainkina, right now we do not have the right candidates in Odisha. Uh, okay. hmm. Hmm. Uh, for example, like people like Himalaya, right? If you have uh, some similar people like Himalaya who, who are not that attached to the location, let's say, um, of current location of Bangalore or uh, New York or Mumbai those or Hong Kong. Who are not attached to that location they're attached to the the knowledge behind it right so then it doesn't matter the location doesn't matter right i mean after all when you look at it right uh zoho for example zoho oh yeah zoho is doing a very very good job. every center out of like villages right yeah because that's actually zoho was my role also. model but yeah. please continue mm. I actually uh, tried to do it. I invite to invite you to invite to invite you to invite you to invite you to invite you to he is running a model called V2W, to invite you 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 to uh, Parada sir is going to like it. So, but Parada sir, uncle, that was both late. He learning. I mean, see, come as all nighter. Parada sir, colonel army loco. So he gives us energy. Apna Parada sir, uncle, sir, kamu kari dekho na kete inspiring. So, how are things on the Hegala? Press. 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 Press.
मु आपन को बैकग्राउंड पछरी परिबे कि माने खाली टिक के मु अपडेट दे दो सर को यस सर प्रेस वन ड्राफ्ट इज रेडी मेड बाय वन ऑफ आवर टीम मेंबर गेटिंग रिव्यूड ओके um i was just telling that one youth icon is joining us in a few uh, few minutes i'm not going to tell but you will be happy <laughs> youth okay. icon uh, like odisha bahare let's hold our horses let the anticipation remain mm -hmm. हिमालय तब क्वेश्चन टा कहाँ पे इतना मु अंजन में कोई पच्चास लेके ओडिशा रूना ओडिशा बाहर रूना नहीं उठाएगा नहीं नहीं तब बुरु तब पच्चास लेके कहाँ रहा वोटा मु आज इस अपन का बैकग्राउंड पच्चास लेके मन मु बैकग्राउंड ओके ओके आ मु हले आ एनआईटी राल कला एक्सएमबी आ क्या आ देयरआफ्टर आ काम क अने कौन कोडिंग मने ना कौन आप नहीं मु मोस्टली मु प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट रे मोस्टली बट हाँ आह बट वर्किंग इन द टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेस ओके ओके डिजिटल साइड ऑफ थिंग्स सो डिजिटल टीम्स का सत्ता इन तीसो पड़े ही था है आह एंड एआई इज एन इंटरेस्ट आह सो बस से आओ सामो गणर अछन एबे मंजित मिश्र मंजित मिश्र आपन को यूथ यूथ आइकन कहि को इंट्रोड्यूस करथली बट आउ जने यूथ आइकन बि आसी भाई ये हो जने हमर यूथ स्पिरिचुअल आइकन राइट ही वेरी यंग पर्सन बट ही इज डीप इनटू स्पिरिचुअल डोमेन सो मंजित आई थिंक आजिरो टॉपिक रे कहि कॉन्शियसनेस विषय रे कहि नांती सो देन आई वाज थिंकिंग हु वुड बी द राइट पर्सन टू कैन आंसर व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट uh, when you are talking of uh, fluid dynamics, when you are talking of uh, you know streams of consciousness, so the question is, what is consciousness? How do we stay conscious in the age of AI? What's next is com coming up? Manjit Mishra, ap apan ko swagato, our prashnati apan ko pain. Thank you, Vaina, for introducing me. Uh, yeah, you have put me in a tight spot, um, but based on my understanding and experience. Um, what I understood from what is consciousness is consciousness is something which is there across everywhere. It's just that um, people people are not aware that they are part and parcel of each and everything which is visible and non-visible in this universe. Uh, and and that has a lot of uh, importance. Why? Because people think are uh, usually the the concept is that okay if i am there if i am getting something then i am good but they need to understand one thing that if um if they are part and parcel of each and everything which is visible and non visible in this uh, in this world then they need to care about sustaining it because one day uh, the person who is who is uh, talking or who is in uh, who is in the spotlight right now he might survive and he might not survive but this world will continue and his progeny and his future will continue to live and come and go so if he has the concept of sustaining uh, in a conscious way conscience way then this world will continue even if he is still not there and it will be in harmony with the nature so ev each and everything what you do if it is in harmonious condition with nature then it will be sustainable otherwise it won't be So Thank you. In, in just AI terms, really, they can have right? Um, when you look at any AI model, the primary goal of an any AI model is like maximizing the output. Primarily, right? The yeah. accuracy, kati ki high rohuchi tamara, kono se model ra, um, kati ki false positives asuji. That is the goal. That is what you consider as a good model. When we bring in consciousness factor into that, let's say, Tamane, uh, if individually, let's consider a system A, system B, and system C, Tinta, Tinta AI models. Uh, if you're talking about consciousness factor, then I think all the, all the three uh, models are not supposed to look at maximizing their output. 
exactly but look should look at maximizing the overall or uh, minimizing the entropy across uh, uh, the three systems yeah so if if i if someone has to ask me that question maximizing that word is very dangerous why because when you try to maximize something you definitely are exploiting something also so when the word exploitation comes then it is a very negative word because exploitation of anything whether it is a human factor of production or whether you are exploiting nature or the, whether you are trying to exploit time that will always lead you in a wrong sense because exploitation should not be the word it's a western concept which they always thought that okay that let's ex exploit something so that we get the maximum profit out of it now when you are talking something in a conscious way then in that case exploitation should not be the word why because if you have to be harmonious with nature exploitation is not the way to do it nature is not supposed to be exploited nature is supposed to be used in what you want and leave the rest for the future of humanity because if someone exploits it he uses it to the maximum extent possible then what will be left to the uh, future nothing or very no, negligible I, mean, I get it i guess uh, so that that comes from the philosophy like uh, there is a sanatan philosophy believes in reincarnation so if you exploit something to the fullest what are you going to enjoy the next time so i mean that's where if you look at it sanatan philosophy never talks about exploitation because you are going to also you are you are in a continuous cycle uh, after gautam uh, thore start karcho then the next life re bhi out thore jaha bali to seta ko enjoy kariba na nahi wo next life kotha ko ni manas see hmm. the point is um, just think in this way mu next life bisare bhabu ni bhi let me just think that okay this is my only life hmm. but mo pore jo mor future generation achibe tanko pai bhi to mor kichi responsibility ro huchi right to leave something behind for them also so that they can also consume they can also lead the life the way i have uh, lived correct so jodi mu kote jinsa ko maximum exploitation kari debi jemti uh, like like say for example take the case of jungles okay but at time thala jetole incessantly jungles kati chaltile why because they wanted to buy ha they wanted to create houses they wanted to uh, build lot of things but point kon hala at a certain stage we found that after incessantly cutting the jungles seta seta ko exploitation hi to koha gala right exploitation of nature to setre kon hala setre eya hala je ecosystem soda destroy hegele jo natural habitat soda animals man kar se man kar destroy kar dela they they were forced to evict to deeper pockets of the jungles or uh, nature so in that case kon hala jo harmony between nature uh, and humans seta destroy hegala तो से रिवर्स मानकर मानने बेस डिसेल मान सिल्टेसन अधिक हवा स्टार्ट है देर आर लट अफ अदर फैक्टर्स अल्सो नेचर बिगड़ा जो द क्वाटी अफ एयर अल्सो गट रिड्यूस ह्यूमन्स आर लुजिंग इन इनडाइरेक्टली बिकज अफ दिस एक्सप्लोटेसन हाबिट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से जो कनसेप्टा अर्लीयर इंडिया थी बिफोर इविन द आरइवल्स अफ द मुगल्स एंड द ब्रिटिश व्हाट वाज इट take what you need not want say you concept are right that is the best concept why because in that case you are taking what you basically need but keeping the rest for maybe the next day tomorrow or maybe for your future generation so setre kon hala monisar gote jinsa sabudu bada factor setre thila setre kon na because that person was healthy that person was always uh, humble because he or she is taking something which does not belong to him but is taking like taking a permission from that nature that okay i'm taking it because i need it but i do not if i do not want it i'll return it back or i will not take it if i do not want because it i have a need that's why i'm taking it say say concept that when you when you start uh, using that right or start living it with it or start preaching it day in and day day out then you will see 
that slowly that balance will again get restored nahi mai mu totally agree kar chhe the concept apan ja kahle sada sata mu ko pe kaha chahutli ki like when you look at the teachings you have ki uh, heaven hella hell hella right ultimately um, so uh, for when you look at uh, the indian uh, knowledge systems it is more of like a, you have a cyclical nature of life right uh-huh. uh, you are reincarnating so you are coming back to the same system whereas when you look at uh, western civil system mm-hmm. you are either in heaven or hell after your uh, whatever you have done so uh, so maybe that is the reason ki okay या पर तो की आगु देख जे वन फॉरगेट अबाउट किड्स राइट मे बी इन द फ्यूचर जस्ट फ्यू किड्स एंड ऑल दैट इज अ मोर ऑफ अ सोसाइटल कांसेप्ट एंड मे बी पीपल एग्जिस्टेड बिफोर सोसाइटल कांसेप्ट एज़ वेल सो जदि तांकर थिंकिंग से टाइप रो थिबो दे कुड बी लाइक ओके लेट मी यूज अ व्हाट मच व्हाट मच आई वांट एंड हाउ मच आई कैन बिकॉज़ तापर को के जानि छि को करबी सो दैट इज द वे से मैंने वेस्टर्न साइड रे यूज कर ले जब कि जब इंडियन साइड रे देखिबे जब रीइनकार्नेट हो छि देन मे बी दैट इज द रीजन पीपल आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लोइट टू द फुलेस्ट टू लीव समथिंग फॉर फ्यूचर और नेक्स्ट लाइफ यू कैन से आई मीन वेस्टर्न कंस्ट्रक्ट देखो वेस्टर्न र जो फिलॉसफी ने इट्स बीन हार्डली फ्यू हंड्रेड इयर्स राइट करेक्ट beyond that some of the civilization was still living as a like normal caveman correct but amara jodi concept ame dekhibo it's been there for thousands of years correct thousands of years i mean if you if you uh, know uh, the concept of mahabharata hala ki je ramayana hala that's those are actually history those are not mythology because myth nuhe we we already have proof uh, one clarification i think mahabharat is called itihasam ramayana is i think called poem but yeah sorry no no Ra- ramayana was written in the form of a poem but ramayana jo concept thila jo jo thare ayodhya thila and all those places thila they are still there correct right so now i mean it is re- how it is written that's a different thing but what i am saying is jo context re likha thila se dita ka mahakavya hala ki mahagrantha hala they they have historical significance because all those places still exist right but same concept of tomene ki western civilization is dekho how many things you have seen how many such important things there jo thare tome geography of each and every points paibo je ramachandra jane thile je pura entire india ko travel kartile ki tankar offsprings mane jaithile africa ku ki lahore ku right uh, extended indian subcontinent ketra senti tome paibo correct so what i am trying to say is indian civilization has been there for ages and all this experimentation which which is right now you see happening with the western civilization that happened long time back with indian civilization then only they came to the concept that okay whatever we do that didn't work so let's continue with this idea that if you live in harmony with the nature then only you can survive and then your future generation along with the nature will also survive hand in hand correct so say experiment as man bahut agru kar di thile and then they figured out okay this is the 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 only way out bujhi pal to mo kaha katha hai ji don't follow blindly the western culture why because they are still experimenting phase we experimented long time back bujhi pal now whether ai is there or not ai nothila like what i am trying to say is before the british arrived right uh, for like 400 years back in the port of surat right we had no ai we had no computers but india at that point in time like indian subcontinent i am talking about was still contributing 27% of the world gdp without any modern machines how that's what i am trying to say so told ai na thila pick any pick any uh, uh, basically uh, text uh, whether tumhe greek greek uh, philosophers man ka text niyo or any uh, uh, like chinese travelers jo man asi thile india ku se man ka text niyo they they have all recorded this right in their manuscripts that ame jo ta asi chu the prosperous society which we see 
in the indian subcontinent how were they able to do it because they they knew how to not exploit the nature but live in harmony with the nature now nature only nuhe je mane khali bono jungle a pashu pakhi nature mane also be a the anything apart from you is also nature correct jo 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 tumara neighbor sahi to tumhe rahucho that also comes in nature because other than you whatever extra is there your surrounding that's also nature से नेचर भी से मनीष टा भी जाउची तमे भी जाउचो एंड से पशु पक्षी टा जाउची से चढ़ई टा भी जाउची से जंगल टा भी जाउची फ्रॉम वेयर द वेस्टर्न कांसेप्ट्स आर सेइंग दैट ओके लेट्स एक्सप्लॉयट इट टू द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल लेवल पण सेत बेले को मेटालर्जी नथिला आमरो जगन्नाथ मंदिर रे जो अष्ट धातु रो चक्र टा लागी छि सेटा अष्ट धातु रे तयार हि छि अष्ट धातु माने आमे जानि छि धातु माने कोन मेटल्स राइट एलिमेंट्स धरियो अष्ट टा धातु तो सेत बेले कोन ता माने से माने एक्सट्रैक्ट करू नथिले सेटा पृथ्वी रु करूथिले बट से माने जो जिनसेटा सेत बेले करथिले आज पर्यंत सेटा सर्वाइव करछि जोटा वेस्टर्न लोक माने करू चंदी सेटा हार्डली 200 इयर्स 300 इयर्स परे भुसुडी जाउछ व्हाई राइट सॉरी फॉर हाइजेकिंग नो मल्टीपल देन सर आई मीन All this like can just a couple of things add. Can we? Because the, the new carbon dating suggests that Indus Valley civilization is like seven thousand years old, uh-huh. rather than thought about three thousand, five thousand years old, right? So mm-hmm. increases it by two thousand years, which is substantial. Uh, then second thing, can we? Can we tell you that? I mean, while we're talking about consciousness and all, all that, let mm-hmm. let's. Think, I mean, at the rate I'm at, even AI is progress. Coru chu. Now we have reasoning-based AI and all that stuff. So uh-huh. AGI as a system is obviously a certainty in the future, right? Mm-hmm. Um, artificial general intelligence. Uh-huh. So obviously that is uh, a, a system. Now that is where the consciousness factor comes into play. I think importance of consciousness comes into play. कि when we are making our AI systems in the future, are we making them conscious enough um, huh. that that they do not uh, because if you are not making them conscious enough, then ultimately Terminator scenario can come. Yes, right. Yes. So mm-hmm. uh, I think uh, from all the discussions about consciousness, AI is more moderate strike or something. Jota from a AI influenced, if I have to think, that uh, like how uh, consciousness can really play a part in future of ai ha huh. that's a great question it i always keep thinking about it mus uh, swami sarvopriyananda gumi pachar thili uh, david sharma gumi pachar thili twitter re so uh, it's a, it's a great question please इवन हमरो सार सार को पचार थली पंचानो सार को मंदित नो प्रेशर प्लीज फील फ्री टू रिस्पोंड इन योर ओन आई मीन दीस आर द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर वेरी डीप राइट एंड एवरीवन हैज अ पर्सपेक्टिव प्लीज प्लीज कम अप विद योर ओन पर्सपेक्टिव मंजित माने आउटर आउटर मत कहलो लेट मी जस्ट रिफ्रेश अगेन वो क्वेश्चन थेला कि क्वेश्चन तो ना इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक अ थॉट ki when as we know that artificial general intelligence uh, slowly or at least uh, any the just a uh, simple intelligence such na you will uh-huh. have more and more complex intelligence in the future Correct. for sure hmm. so um where is the research on consciousness factor uh, while building ai models uh, in play here because currently i think what any kind of research is going ahead in in maximizing a particular output okay uh, apurva that is the and now this is the this uh, is youth icon joining yeah okay. welcome in Ap- apurva we are waiting for you so inspire us we were actually discussing consciousness and agi and stuff like that but let's take us into this field of space and your journey of uh, sure so l- let me just conclude um so just say i mean like i mean while we research on multiple things and maximizing the uh, uh, accuracy maximizing the f score 
of different stuff that we built um the consciousness factor taku ame kemiti ai systems with the build kar pariba ta upar bi setiki research hoba darkar because as i said right uh, as you said actually that uh, what is consciousness is starting to think about anything apart from you so um uh, any ai system if they are trying to give any kind of output से केमिति भाबिया दरकार की व्हाट इज द इंपैक्ट ऑफ दैट आउटपुट ऑन एनीथिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ देम राइट करेक्ट दैट इज दैट इज इफ मन दैट इज द जस्ट दैट आई कुड गॉट फ्रॉम एन एआई लेंस इफ आई हैव टू लुक एट कॉन्शियसनेस फ्रॉम एन एआई लेंस दैट इज व्हाट आई कुड थिंक दैट ओके फूड फॉर थॉट इज कैन वी स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग एआई सिस्टम्स व्हिच आर कॉन्शियस एंड नॉट सेल्फ कॉन्शियस कॉन्शियस सेल्फ कॉन्शियस विद डेटा all ka tafat rahi ho so uh, we have to build ai systems which are conscious not self conscious self conscious to bilkul bhaya than mein because see, at the end, end of the day ai cannot consume its own output correct yeah it has been made for the humans and it will be made for the humans correct ai cannot consume its own output to be frank so uh, output ki consume kariyo humans pani hi consume karibe of the output which comes from ai right so it is self conscious hai gala then it will start thinking about itself only right because it's a machine at the end of the day and machines have no emotions so they don't care about anything they ju- they will just care about their own survival how i will survive and i'll kill everything else who comes in my way so but when we put this factor that that when when ai is working or when ai bu- is building something or trying to extract something the that output has to be conscious in the sense that it is not harming anything else but it, it is not exploiting basically that word exploitation is not there at all in its dictionary when it is trying to process any data uh, then then yes it will be in harmony otherwise mm-hmm. it will become dangerous Okay. Uh, I guess with that, I'm on the way. One, sorry. Yeah. Right. Good evening. Good morning, everybody. Acha, uh, I think it's a it's a pretty interesting kind of like area that we are entering into, but it is always there. The conscience and the consciousness, they are the domain of the human beings. until unless you have a conscience you will not able to really get into that uh, area of building a cons- consciousness of you and the things around you consciousness can be built there are two level of consciousness these are all very very meta philosophical ideas we are blessed to have consciousness which is built and that there is a, a level of consciousness which is added as you actually grow ai is going to have that level of consciousness which it is going to perceive from the whole kind of like things which are being fed into it but the conscience would be not the domain of ai but again as the things are going to be developed everything will be fed to the uh, to the ai or to the model in that case it is going to really uh, going to get into uh, have you heard of that trolley challenge which you have the ethical challenge of uh, trolley challenge that been said it's an ethical challenge or something like if you yes sir. Absolutely. If train yeah. goes here, that train, if the train is sitting on the left, five hundred meters away, you see it. If you all are equipped, have you ever? I have put lot many times to different models the same question, but the answer it doesn't really take it to the level where exactly it is going to be in a kind of like a fix. So, see, it's a very easy one. Then it's been fed by the human beings. By the set of data, they don't go there because these are ethical questions. So somewhere I have a feeling 
uh, machine is not going to do everything. It is going to be fed with all these kind of things where exactly it is going to tell. This is what exactly. But the level of conscience that is going to be built, I do not know how far AJ will be going to get that uh, kind of like built into its whole kind of like model or something on that. But very interesting. I the generation you guys are in, you guys are thinking this. Probably this is uh, this is the level of concept building, the level of conscience thinking, or the level of thinking towards this all this meta philosophical things you guys are thinking. Yes, so Sumanyu, hey Pranav, hey, we need your, uh, we really need your, you, you, you tell our generation that we are thinking right, but we do need your, your wisdoms, your, your guardrails through which we do things. Um, with this, uh, uh Parida, sir, would you? Sure, want... Ranjan. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Pranav. Hey. Um, with this, Parida, sir, you want to say something about Apurva? Ah, hello, Apurva. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar. God bless. Apurva is one of our, you know, rising star among the yeah, yeah. new startups in the space, in the field of space. And uh, very recently, he got. Uh, investment of one million dollar yeah we have crossed that yeah yes crossed that investment and uh, they're really they have the association with uh, they've got a lot of patents and working with the isro and also the indian defense and many more i think uh, the least will be many more because every other day, at least weekly minimum, once or twice, I see some achievement, some award being given to him and his company space. And I'm proud because he belongs, I, you know, he belongs to my uh, alma mater also. So that's a very, very, you know, so I always tell them that. We are proud of you. So that's uh, that's all I can say at this moment. I mean, there are a lot and lot of things can be said to him. And if I'm not wrong, I think uh, Prime Minister Modi has also already appreciated uh, this boy's approach. I mean, uh, achievements. So great going, Apurva, and uh, I. On behalf of everyone, wish you all the very best. We want you to keep on rising. And uh, may sky be the limit. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. OK, let me uh, give a quick introduction. Um, my name is Apurva Masuk, I graduate from Burla in 2020. Uh, after that, I was working briefly for a financial services firm, uh, and then we started up. We are three co-founders. Uh, we're batchmates of Purla. So in September 2021, we started up. So we completed three years as a startup, and uh, we are based in Bangalore, uh, incubated at the Indian Institute of Science. So our, our, at our startup, our fo core focus is specifically on rocket propulsion. So we custom design and manufacture uh, uh, the rocket fuel, rocket engines, um, and and other solid fuel systems, solid propellant based systems for uh, different applications across the aerospace, defense, and space sectors. So right now we are a twenty member team. Um, it's a it's a entirely tech team. So uh, you know, group of aerospace engineers, propulsion engineers, chemical engineers. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think I see Manas's chat. So uh, yeah, early on with Bodhi Bhai and others, we started India's first student rocketry team. This was in 2016. And again, a lot of the inspiration came from 
uh, many of the eminent alumni like Aditya sir here. 2016 happened to be the diamond jubilee year of our college. So established in 56. So this you know, 60 years of existence. And that was an eye-opening event when Global Alumni Meet was being organized. And it was so many you know, eminent alumni spread across six continents. They were all in Burla. So again, many of the alumni in, in the Hirakud Dam also. So we got the problem statement from them that they would like a feasible way to survey the reservoir and the catchment area. And after brainstorming number of ideas, we finally decided that we would launch rockets to deploy CANSATs that could do that. So we did seven sounding rocket launches uh, between 2016 to 2020. Uh, of course, uh, when we started, it was not well received by the college. But uh, uh, a lot of the alumni support uh, seeded the program and continued the program, funded the program as well. And then uh, after initial successes, the college authorities basically came around. Um, a lot of support started pouring in, etc. So, uh, so yeah, that that was a steep learning curve in itself. Uh, we no, we don't have any aerospace aeronautical background, so it was, uh, you know, completely hands-on uh, learning from scratch. And uh, yeah, as as Aditya sir mentioned, Honorable Prime Minister appreciated the work in his Monkey Bad program. Honorable President of India in various occasions. And later, uh, ISRO was gracious enough to uh, fund the program as well with 50 lakhs in grant, uh, set up India's first space incubation center at our university. And by this time, so this was late 2019, 20, you know, early 2020, when at the back of the larger reforms by, by the central government, that is privatization of space sector. And of course, by the time Bodhi Bhai and you know, Mumbai had, had already started up IG drones, so three of us from our batch was, you know, were motivated to continue this journey. And, but pandemic had hit. Uh, so initially we went into jobs. I, I was I joined a financial services firm, uh, Sudarshan, who is my co-founder. He's from Burger. He joined LNT. Um, Ronak, my other co-founder, he's from Sambalpur, Rengali. He had joined Accenture. So we worked for their one and a half, two years, each of us, and then started up. Uh, Bangalore was a natural place to set up and uh, IIC was also a natural place to incubate because we wanted access to a bunch of different facilities, expertise. So yeah, started with a, you know, in a, in a small 700, 800 square feet space with a six member team. And now we are in a sprawling 4,000 square feet space with a 20 member team. Uh, just last month, we have started land acquisition of 75 acres in Defense Corridor, Jhansi, uh, where we will be setting up our dedicated manufacturing um, because we are into propellants, so explosives, uh, so a bunch of safety distances, regulations, licenses, etc., which we are now, uh, you know, gradually get, going to get into. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, we were completely bootstrapped uh, until last year, so mostly supported through different grants. Uh, January this year, uh, we raised a seed round, and then a couple of months ago, we raised a small bridge round. So we have raised roughly 11 crores in total funding. Um, now in discussions to raise a much larger round, 40 to 50 crores in funding, to basically expand in Jhansi and set up the manufacturing. Uh, started working with a lot of our, uh, in fact, all of our traction currently, you know, or, or the customer contracts is in defense, uh, because again, there is a lot of risk capital available within the Indian defense vis-a-vis -vis the Indian space. Um, and there are a uh, lot of adoption methodologies because for any startup, it is, you could say it is a experimental technology unproven. Uh, and and uh, you know the Indian defense is sort of following the DARPA inspired model to you know adopt uh, key technologies from startups or procure key technologies from startups. So we are also beneficiaries of that. I mean, currently we have seven eight ongoing contracts with different defense customers, different defense agencies, the services, 
etc um so yeah that that is a bit about us uh thank you anjan sir for uh, having me here yesterday i was just caught up with the rains in bangalore and then i i could not join late night but yeah it's uh, great to great to have you here as always right um apurva you i was i introduced you as a youth icon to the community you you do you guys are really the youth icons um any questions for uh, apurva from 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 the audience uh fascinating okay i think yeah so when you hey bondu apurva ने मोर बहुत बढ़िया लगे अनथिंकेबल थिंग्स हैव बीन डन बाय यू गाइस बट व्हाई जांच आ सो आई मीन इज इज देयर एनी स्पेसिफिक रीजन बिकॉज़ जांच इज देयर सेंट्रली लोकेटेड सो दैट यू टू नॉट इट वुड हैव अ सिक्योरिटी एंगल व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आ नॉट रियली सो देयर आर टू डिफेंस इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर्स दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज सेट अप वन इज इन तमिलनाडु एंड वन इज इन यूपी so tamil nadu defense corridor and jhansi and up defense corridor so up defense corridor has six clusters so jhansi is one of them jhansi is the largest where there is uh, 2600 2700 acres uh, available and uh, bdl bharat dynamics limited is the mega anchor unit there they have taken up some roughly 450 500 acres and i think the entire area is now filled up uh, is completely allotted so we evaluated uh, tamil nadu we evaluated gujarat we evaluated odisha in fact also uh, up also and then finally we decided that we will we'll go to uh, jhansi the reason was because of the defense cluster ecosystem the land prices being extremely competitive and then the incentives being extremely competitive so the lot of capital subsidies uh rebates etc you know pli schemes that that are being offered up which was uh, much better in in up in up uh visa we when we compared other states um and it and the most driving factor was uh, because see we are in explosives as i said so we need a explosives license and to get an explosive license in india is a hard mountain to climb and when you know so so you you can't be in a isolated land uh, where there is nobody else so you are likely to get arm twisted or your paper or your files are you know likely to get uh, stuck for a long time so to be in a dedicated earmarked defense cluster where there are other you know explosive ammunition and other units around you so that that uh, ecosystem effect is what was is what is needed to get that licensing process done more quickly and seamlessly so that was one of our major factors but yeah other things as i said i think like uh, lucknow said to be big ammunition plant achi yes, so yes six, so six clusters uh, kanpur yeah. lucknow jhansi chitrakoot uh -huh. uh, uh, ali uh, aligarh so yeah so kanpur yeah. rail like adani is the anchor unit uh, i think uh, brahmos is also there in one of these cities so yeah right and uh, yeah. just on a humor level like kanpur is known for uh, unlicensed <laughs> katta so it makes sense to be where uh, those smes are there <laughs> subject matter expert no no they 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 have done they <laughs> they, they have uh, taken all the considerations and uh, i think grant them that much no i mean nobody is going to take a decision so yeah 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 definitely thank you thank you apurva it is a really really great and as i told you we are always proud of you and you are our youth icon and we want more and more youth to follow your footsteps and be inspired you know you have to inspire you have to motivate and keep on doing good work okay so i think uh, anjan our team is ready so we can start the presentation paper uh, thank you sir any anything else with uh, apurva he will be uh, apurva you are here now for some time 
Yes, sir. I'm here for some time. Okay, because we we have just uh, ten abstract presentations, and uh, then we can take on more. Or if you have anything, uh, if you're uh, anything urgent, then we can take it on. Otherwise, we go there. I mean, you all are uh, listening to that. Rather, we love to, you know, that uh, we have some audience to listen to them. Sure, sure, sir. Okay, great. Great. Okay, uh, Dr. Brajo, where are you? Yes, yeah, sir. Namaste. Good morning. Namaskar to one and all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we will start at uh, seven fifty, sir. Actually, as I have given the scheduled time at seven fifty, so I I am expecting that uh, people will join the contributory authors and the sessions okay, okay. are going then to join. Give us, give us five minutes more. We then whoever wants to talk with Apurva, they have still five more minutes. Okay, no issue, sir. No issue. Yep, please. Uh, so right now, as Paradise sir mentioned that if you, anyone is having any questions to directly interact with Apurva sir, please, uh, this is the open forum. You may, in between our contributor authors and session chairs will be joined so that we will be able to start our event at uh, around 10, 7.50. Thank you all. Okay. Over to you. Yeah, Apurva, actually, this is Pranay. I think uh, I have met your... Uh, you see, Burla, I think uh, now with ESSUT, right? So your uh, uh, friends, I think, from IG Drones uh, in Startup Odisha, Bhuvaneshwar. Right. Uh, I think uh, I heard about you, but I, I didn't know you were in Bangalore. So I'm in Bangalore, actually. I'd love to connect with you, I think, uh, uh, maybe. Sure, sir. We, we, are, we, are, we are set up in Rajaji Nagar Industrial. If you are any any time in this part of town, please do drop by. Yeah, I live in Balandu. So anyway, the point is, I think you are near IISC, I believe, the campus yes. incubation center, right? Right. Yeah, so I think uh, uh, probably I had talked with, I think, uh, Bodhisattva, right? Your uh, friend? Yes, so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I met both. Uh, there are both of there them. are actually three three startups have come up as Apurva mentioned, space, yes. IG drone, and Tinkers Lab, and now it is the yeah, yeah Tinkers Lab on wheel. So yeah, they, yeah. they are the real, real rising star, and they really they done fantastic job. Yeah, okay, yes, I think yes, Sum Sumanyo KP. Yes, raise hand. Yes, please. Sorry, I have a quick question, Apurva. Apurva, yes, sir. logically, bohut suna jauji, the defense would have a space focus, or space would have a defense focus. Is that uh, uh, are you are you thinking from the design uh, design? Uh, design side or it has to be only the implementation once you get into this uh, whole space uh, things been done because uh, going forward the uh, the whole kind of defense would be space focus so is there any design level kind of thought process which are on i just wanted to know uh, because this is more of like uh, a ecosystem there you have gone into that is dancing so somewhere we can understand the ecosystem is built around on that particular area. Just give us a little perspective in terms of how to add the defense angle to the space uh, from the design standpoint. Right. Uh, sir, definitely. I mean, uh, space is increasingly a strategic sector. It's not just for civilian use because, uh, you know, as as uh, the domains of war is not just land, sea, and air anymore. It is uh, space. It is cyber. Uh, these two are the increasing areas of you know strategic areas for for uh, defense as well. And uh, uh, given the you know you use of Starlink in the wars or, or whatever and a uh, bunch of other use cases, so spy satellites, etc. So space is definitely uh you know we are in a land grab moment you could say or the, the space race or whatever is going on so we are in a land grab moment every country wants to uh deploy or 
capture more and more space resources um, so uh, so that is one second uh, lot of it is to do with deterrence so you know with global posturing uh, so for example icbms icbms itself are a kind of a modified space launch vehicle right so we are ex going into space and then the vehicle is re-entering so uh, mo any country requires more and more and more uh, of of such deterrence uh, products and third is lot of uh, it is also to do with uh, spending capability right so if if i have to say i think the defense indian defense budget is what seven, about 75 80 billion dollars roughly while space budget is barely 2 billion dollars so the space budget alone is not uh, you know capable or you know it's not sufficient to fund some of these key critical technologies uh, so the government also has to find a way to funnel the defense money into space and you know th that is what they're doing so a uh, uh, couple of years ago dsa has been formed defense space agency uh, just like the us has a space force right which was recent uh, again came up few years ago so the Indian government has set up a similar uniform service called DSA, Defense Space Agency. And uh, number they, they are running number of defense space, uh, defense space challenges, right? So to do with, let's say, military satellite constellations, to do with military launch on demand uh, and hypersonics. So a lot of the uh, dual use, you could say, critical technologies are being funded by defense. And as I said, the reason is also that the purse and the risk capital is available with defense. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Apurva. And uh, I think uh, audience to please hold on and um, let us encourage our young authors and then Again, we can take on uh, more discussion with Apurva if you have or other discussions among the audience. Okay, Dr. Brajo, now uh, you coordinate the proceedings. Yeah, thank you, sir. Namaskar, Apurva Samostanko, because Dwitin Allah, our ODI AIM conference. And it gives a very good message to the audience that because Kalimu Professor Manas and Patra Sarans at the Kothautli, she would take whole message that Lejuragi really, I, mean, I want to say over here because this is the best feedback we received from, from a great professor, Professor Manas and Patra, who is the retired professor from Barampur University very recently. She called it, Brojo, a global Odisha conference, something like that, a concept. Of, both late la jodi eta jodi agro eta na eta aur bahut kichi ei pata kom bhai jo very connected kara jai chi really he appreciated because she kali sokal 6 da ru mane even late night pon she boshi gote gote program ko observe kothile am gote program ko she sunothile eje learner ebong sethi aur jinsa ta gote take away kali je age is just a number learning pe kono se age ro parameter na thai she so really it's a we have received very good feedback sir I, mean, I want to share it openly so on behalf of NIST University and on behalf of Brahmapur local AI chapter okay so all, meanwhile our authors are already joined and session chairs are also joined sir so with you all permissions I am going to start the sessions and uh, their contributor authors just one more thing I would like to say over here that your time limit is 10 minutes out of which 8 minutes you are for your presentation and 2 minutes for your one-to-one -one interaction I mean the question and answer sessions so you have to honor the time because you know that although basturity abstract time out of 72 Upon Gui Kabul's chance, the HSH Setipain, upon the same time, good restrict honor Kuribe, who say time pro honor Kuriga presentational Kuribe, so that keep eighty two 
respected members of Bastanti, they may give you very good suggestions so that you will be able to improvise your article, which may publish in a different forum. I mean, the, in journal or conference, something or pro book like that. So, uh, be, without wasting the time and uh, for the interest of time limit, I would like to request uh, one, my. One, 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 one second, one second, brother. Uh, firstly, yeah, uh, the audience is also requested to uh, give the evaluation and later on they can send it to me. And secondly, brother, you, if you could say who all are there from the faculty, I mean, from faculty members who are reviewing because they're also. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, in this forum, the technical uh, from, from, uh, from our NGIML team, the session chairs are uh, Professor Manas Ranjan Patro, sir. Professor Nilmadho Padi sir, Professor Sarupananda Biswi sir, and uh, Pro Professor Mahura Nandi ma'am. So all those, uh, in, and including myself also, and including the best members present over here, because everyone is the from Parida sir to Anjan sir and Aprova sir, everyone are all are having very good experience. So I hope your presence will give some encouragement to the authors, because uh, at least I may come open forum I may talk the look and suggestion pilot that is much more contributory for them. So without wasting, uh, I would like to request uh, Professor Manasaran Patrosa, Sarup sir, and uh, Nilmata Padi sir and Mahura ma'am to just uh, give a just one line intro about them over this so that we will start our forum. Uh, Manas sir, you are there. Yes, Namaskar, sir. sir. Yeah, please, over to you. Uh, actually, uh, we got about, uh, I, I'm a faculty, I'm a senior faculty in the Department of Computer Science. Actually, I'm a retired professor from Barampur University. Now I'm with NIST University. So we thought that we'll make the best use of uh, uh, this opportunity to encourage uh, researchers to contribute in this uh, field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So that's the reason the, So we floated a uh, call for papers. We received about uh, 68 research papers. And then three of us actually evaluated based on the relevance uh, to the topics and the depth and the niche rigor that they have in that particular paper. We have picked up only 10 research papers to be presented uh, in today's session. So most of the papers are on uh, very interesting application areas. So we thought they have the potential uh, to be presented in such a forum. So as uh, brother has rightly said, so basically we are trying to encourage uh, the budding researchers, uh, the ODI researchers mostly. Of course, there are other papers also from other uh, other states, but mostly the ODI researchers, so that they get connected to this particular forum, and they they and they, they improve the research and they keep contributing to this. So we look forward to the authors, those who will be presenting their work. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, sir. Uh, Neil Mato Padi, sir, you are there? Yes, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. Please over to you. I, I think Dr. Raghavendra is also there, perhaps. Uh, uh, yeah, he may join, sir. I will share his, the link with him. But uh, okay. uh, we have taken four members uh, in the panel for sessions. No, no, okay. no. You, you, you keep your four. That's why I said others can give their position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Neil Madhubadi, sir, your, over to you, please. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, professors. Thank you, Manas, sir. Thank you, Aditi Patita, sir. And respected all the dignitaries and the dais. Really, it's a great pleasure to be the part of this ODI AMA. Last one and a half month, we are trying to connect the ODI peoples, and we are trying to connect the good. Uh, articles from this forum and indeed it is the last day and uh, we hope it is the beginning of this again of this session and we'll try to level best to polish the paper so that it will be published in a good forum and all credit goes to each and every members those who are directly or indirectly connected this ODI forums it's a learning stage and still we are learning till the date we will learn thank you thank you one and all present here yeah, thank you, Neil Mathapadi, sir. Uh, now I request to Sarup, sir. Dr. Sarup, one on the Vishwi, sir. You are there, please? Yeah, I'm there. Uh, namaskar, yeah, good morning, sir. Namaste. Namaskar. Over to you. Yeah, so it's a, it's great to be part of this 
Odisha AI conference. Okay, I've been following this. So yesterday also I was online for around uh, six hours. Okay, so it was great actually. It was great to see. I mean, people like Matanjan, Colonel Aditya sir, and so many others to be online for near more than 24 hours. It's something I've never seen man in my life. Okay, hats off to you guys. Okay, keep continuing the good work. Okay, and keep motivating us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. sir. Now I would like to request to Mahua man, Dr. Mahua Nandi man. You are there? Yes, uh, I am there. Uh, good morning. Yeah, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, I have joined this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good morning. So, uh, good morning, uh, all the organizers also. Uh, so, I am privileged to uh, chair the session, and uh, thank you all the organizers. Uh, specifically, Dr. Brajokishwar Mishra uh, for giving me the opportunity to chair the session. Though I'm not from the Oriya community, I'm from the Bengali community, yet I'm privileged to join this Oriya AI com conference. Uh, and I hope every success of this uh, event. Thank you all. Uh, Ma'am, actually, one article which is placed in this top. Ten article out of which uh, one article is from Kolkata. So we thought okay. that if he will express his article in Kolkata linguistic, then it will be a big problem for all, all of us. With that thought only, we requested you to be the member, and uh, as we are uh, always ready to empower the women also. So okay. in our technical sessions, out of four members, uh, three yeah. are uh, men and one are uh, women, so that we can say that yeah, our panel is a fully balanced one. That with that thought only, we request. You too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the panel, panel is the balance panel. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Thank you. So, thank you. yeah, now the mem mem authors are also ready to start the program. So, I would like to invite just a minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now I would like to request uh, the authors from for paper number 13. Okay. Paper 13, NGAML 13. Prasant sir and team. Purna sir and Prasant sir and team. Ready? Sir, Namaskar. Uh, Namaskar. Morning, Over to you all, everyone. please. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I uh, Siddhar Sankar Dora, uh, going to present. Uh, my slide, uh, my paper. Please share your PPTs. Okay, sir. I'm going yes. to share. I'm going to share, sir. Some problem is uh, going on or on it. Just a moment, just a moment. Uh, I'm unable to share my share. No, no, don't say. worry. Just uh, Sari is going to give you the um, okay. co host uh, uh, rights so that you will be able to share. Add as co host, okay. Siddha, sir, now you, you are the co host, so okay, you can. Sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Is it visible my screen, sir? Yes. Yes, visible. Make it make it full screen. If that will be better. Sir, sir. Is it visible, sir? Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, please make the presentation uh, full screen. Okay, okay. okay. I'm getting. Okay. Uh, I Sidhar Sangar Tora going to my present my paper Intelligent Air Pollution Control System in Smart Cities. 
using machine learning. Uh, my, gu my guide is Dr. Uh, Prasant Kumar Smai and also, also Dr. Jibant Kumar Mantri. I guided both of them me for uh, doing this type of uh, paper. Uh, my purpose is air pollution. The primary uh, air pollution uh, causes of the different uh, sources. Our primary causes of DG uh, problem is that uh, if you will face the air pollution problem, ultimately the human will face a lot of problems. Basically, the human health uh, problem. Maybe they will face the many diseases uh, to avoid uh, in the according to the WHO, the every year 15 million people uh, are uh, at risk illness from the air pollution. That's why I figured out the rising Delhi as a result of accessing coal and petroleum usage. There is a growing interest among the scientists about the air pollution and its effects. Uh, many cities are facing facing lot of problems due to this air pollution. Uh, now cities are developing economically and technologically, and there is this is also causing the environmental pollution and issues uh, like air noise and water pollution. Uh, basically, we are, uh, and also uh, due to this region, the planet will face a lot of problems. My vision of this uh, uh, objective, uh, objective, my vision of this paper is to uh, control the air pollution in smart cities. Uh, to applying uh, to applying the wireless sensor network and machine learning technologies. The system will enable the real-time air quality, air quality monitoring and productive the pollution management and improve the decision making for urban planners. Our strategy of the goal is the design an uh, intelligent air con pollution control system. The key component of the vision is the smart sensor de network deployment, intelligent data aggregation, communication, data analytics, machine learning integration, real-time pollution control system support system, community engagement, and public awareness. We expect that after the deploy of this uh, project, the enhance the public health, support sustainable urban development, and empower citizens. Our aim is to transform the way the city manages air quality, ultimately making urban areas healthier, more uh, livable, and sustainable for future generations. So our mission is to create a cleaner, healthier, and a smarter urban uh, environment through the deployment of WSN and machine learning technologies. The intelligent, uh, by applying the intelligent air pollution, we are monitoring and uh, predicting analysis and productive controls by transferring the air quality management, the real time data, and advanced analytics aim to protect the public health and improve the quality of life, promote the sustainable development in smart cities worldwide. The overview of the project, the, uh, this project contains uh, WS wireless sensor network, we will apply the IoT, and we will apply the machine learning. Uh, their concept is that the WSL uh, wireless sensor network uh, will help the collect the data from the uh, areas and then we will apply the machine learning to develop the model uh, concept and control the okay, data will purify. Then after the develop, it helps also develop different types of models and processing the data in proper way and design the, our outcomes. The key component, the WSL and the machine learning model, we are also aggregating the data and decision support system. The after, uh, first, we will deploy the sensor network sensors in hotspot area. Then uh, uh, collect the data, then analyze the data. After the machine learning, we are controlling the pollution, mon the pollution monitoring and visualize, and also we'll control uh, that uh, different parts. And after that, and, uh, we will give the alert to the authorities to show the public. The problem is that air pollution is a critical environment issue, especially in smart cities. We are taking a case study as we in that area. Uh, then in that area, the population density and industrial activities have contributed significantly to air quality degradation. Effective monitoring and control of air pollution in smart cities are essential for public health and sustainable urban development. We are a traditional monitoring system is not suitable for overcome these issues. So we are, we are devising uh, for that purpose, we are designing an uh, internet system. Uh, in that system, there are three phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. The first phase uh, contains the deployment of sensors and IoT devices using intelligent techniques. The second phase, data integration management. And third phase, cell learning and predictive analysis. Next part is that we are processing the data. Uh, the data processing and system uh, for air pollution control in smart cities involves several components designed to capture the transmit process analyze and visualize 
air quality data. Then each, each stage of the system transfer the raw data into actionable insights, real time pollution monitoring, proactive decision making. There are below that some parts are there. First part, the data acquisition layer, which contains smart sensor network. Second, the data transmission layer. It helps to communicate and, uh, communication and gateways. It consists data storage and management layer. It is server infrastructure, basically, you know, aids computing and fog computing. Then, data processing and analytic layer, machine learning, data analysis. Then, decision support layer, which helps with pollution control strategies and alert the message. Communicate engagement, engagement reporting layer. Next to the performance evaluation, continuous improvement, and at the flash, the integration with the other smart city systems. That this approach not only enhances the capability of cities to monitor and control air pollution effectively, but also promotes the sustainable urban development and improves the overall quality of life for publics. This is the here, these are the model uh, we are designing. The first part is the deployment as intelligent sensors, smart sensors in hotspot area. Then uh, that, that, that sensors will help to collect the data in different areas. Then that data will be collected. After collection work is over, then we will go to process the data and processing is required for cleaning the noise from the data. Then after we go for the selected features according to the requirement. Then, uh, collect, uh, then we will training the model by using uh, machine learning techniques. Different algorithms are there. We will apply by applying this algorithm. We will training that uh, training the model. Uh, is 80 is to 20 or 74 is 20 is to we will divide the data training training for 80 80 percent and 20 percent will be required for the testing purpose then after after getting the output we will classify we will use the classification algorithms to classify the data then we will I will collect the then after the classification we will evaluate in the model different model will be designed support support uh, support of vector machines model regression model different models are there if you have to design the model, we will evaluate the uh, model. Uh, then so some metrics are applied that we will design that test. That is a further purpose. We are designing a simulation environment by using Python. Uh, or, or models are designed and it's a hardware requirement also there. Then processor, uh, the Windows 10 platform, the hardware software required. And for the DJ, we are applying the uh, or performance metrics to evaluate the model. The first is the coverage uh, uh, efficiency, second, the communication overhead, then clustering accuracy, and prediction accuracy. Then, for prediction accuracy, we will use the two metrics. Siddha sir, kindly, Siddha sir, kindly honor the time limit and uh, please complete. Okay, sir. Uh, no, purpose. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Going to conclude, sir. Uh, this is the first, I am using the data set for evaluating the model. Uh, there is a uh, from Kaggle side, public side. I put some data sets are designed, uh, I show some parts. At last, I'm going to conclude the adoption of the WSN machine learning for air pollution control in smart cities presents a comprehensive data driven approach to taking the environment challenge. It also helps the authorities to take the proactive measures to reduce, to reduce pollution level, create healthier and more sustainable urban things. As a technology advances, the cities continue. Grow, this approach will become an essential component of smart cities infrastructure. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear sir, ma'am, kindly, if you have any questions, uh, so, uh, am I audible properly? Am I audible properly? Yes, yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yes, ma Okay, so the objective of the paper is very relevant, relevant uh, in today's scenario. Uh, and the uh, last uh, sh last section of the paper, uh, that flowchart, uh, was the model generation and the prediction. So which particular, achha, first of all, my question is, which data set has been used? Sir, public, public data set, I am taking the data set from the Kaggle side, the public data is for, uh, okay. for health purpose. Okay. And also, uh, I'm the, uh, recently I'm taking also data set of the Google server also in this local area. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and after that, the which model has been used for uh, prediction I'm, purpose? I've, I've, I've taken three models: regression, regression model, support vector machine model. I have to take this. Acha, uh, so regression model, support vector machine model, and what are the uh, results? Uh, predictive results? Money, uh, because we have not. How the, how the, uh, Yes, sir. 
uh, how different models are how different models are actually predicting what are the results uh, ma'am the, the thing is that i will just wait and uh, some models giving the more result but due to time limit because in the uh, slides uh, we yes, have yes, not yes. seen uh, yes yes uh, yes yes ma'am the, there is a i will i will i will tell ma'am uh, last uh, some models uh, three models I am designing last, last I am showing Sub you. Regression model, support vector machine, and another one, which one? This support vector, linear regression. First is, uh -huh. the, first is the, I have taken recently linear regression, support vector machine, decent thing. And, and the support vector, linear regression model shows the 0 0.88 hmm. uh, and so SVM uh, mean square error. Then SVM mean square error is 1.46, SVM root mean square error is 1.20. But support vector machine uh, means square zero point one seven. So which and, one is uh, the best? Square error, uh, uh, best is the best is the, uh, linear regression, madam. Linear regression is the best model, and why linear regression is the best model? Any justification? Linear, why support vector machine and decision tree? The, both the both of these uh, predictors are not doing well. Means uh, linear regression is doing much better than these two. Models, why? My name is there any justification? Ma'am, actually, uh, data are the linear really improved day by day. Uh, that's why it's taking. Uh... Okay, I don't have any question. Thank you. Okay. Sh uh, can I ask, ask a question? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. So, whether you use the data as such or you've done some feature reduction on that. Because feature reduction also feature. has an impact on uh, your classification and, uh, that, and yes, sir, yes, sir. Feature reduction, feature reduction will help to reduce the dimensionality of the data set. That's okay. Did you did you use any feature reduction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, which feature reduction method do you use for that? Uh, feature reduction, uh, feature reduction techniques are uh, feature reduction tech. That there are three techniques, sir. First is that uh, we are filtering that part. We can filtering it. Uh, no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't see that in your presentation. Can you just name the technique? Like here, you said linear regression, support vector machine, and decision tree. Similarly, which technique you use for feature reduction? That's the question. Feature reduction uh, technique. I guess exactly. I guess you have not yes, used yes, feature feature reduction. Yeah. So what you do is you feature, yeah, feature. Uh, I guess you have not done filtering that. Filtering technique. I'm applying. I'm filtering so, technique. I'm filtering technique, sir. So next time, what you do is you apply some feature reduction. Probably you'll be able okay, to thank improve you, sir. your result. You'll be able to yes, sir, yes, sir. and that will also reduce your training and training time. Yes, sir. right. Also, also the suggestion from yes, my sir, part yes, is that why some uh, predictor is doing well and why some predictor is not doing well, uh, we should investigate upon the justification. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, thank you. Uh, hello. You said about. Yes, yes. There are different key features that you have considered for the air pollution prediction, isn't it? Sir. Now, can you can you mention that what exactly the sir, features sir. That, are, that are really impact, like whether a traffic or industrial activities details, what exactly the key features that you have considered? Sir, different, uh, different factors are there. So in urban areas, uh, more vehicles are there, and other part, the other part, that's uh, more hotels are there. They are also coming, uh, in the home householders are they are also consuming uh, so gas and air, uh, gas and other part, other parts. So that's a different sources. I have taken data from the different sources, and that's why I'm, uh, I'm taking this knowledge. Sir. What factors are affecting the affecting the air pollution? From three factors are basically we are focusing because one is the household. And the second one is the uh, vehicles, and the third one is the hotels, in, in industries. Three sources, major sources. I'm taking data from these sources in different parts. Okay, right, fine. Thank you. Okay, Siddharth, uh, from Bhuneshwar, how you collected sir, the data? Sir, uh, I collected the, from the Pollution Control Board. Uh, the data, data are collected from that part. And one other source of the one papers are there. I have, I have given that part from that source of that paper. From that paper, the data are given, and also I'm taking that part. Sir. The municipality, so municipality also, 
municipality from municipal even, even, even Odisha. Odisha, yes, sir, Odisha yes, pollution sir. control board is releasing the data for Bhuvaneshwar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Let me know that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, any question from Colonel, sir? No, I think carry on. Move on to the next. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, um, right now, the paper ID 19 is also there with us. Author 19, pe paper ID 19. Can you respond, please? 19 or 16, sir? No, no. 16 will join soon, ma'am. Meanwhile, I'm just inviting 19. Paper ID 19, kindly respond. Paper ID 16 authors, uh, sorry, 16 authors are there? Yes, yes. 16? Yes, six, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, please, over to you all. Yes, sir. Okay. Kindly allow me to share my screen. Yeah, just, just a moment. Preeti. Yes. Okay. So is it uh, paper ID 16? Yes, yes, ma'am. OK, OK. That is the, OK. OK, it is K, not P. Kumari Pete, okay. Um, okay, Priti, you are made co host. Yeah, go ahead. I've made you co host. Ma'am, you are there? Yes, yes. Kindly, yes. ma'am, start your presentation. Yes. Already you, are, you uh, have been added. Good morning, distinguished participants, uh, esteemed convener, and uh, honored guest. It's my pleasure to invite me uh, there for this particular uh, important event hosted at the NIST University, where we come together to exchange knowledge, ideas, and innovations in the field of artificial intelligence and related technology. So my topic is uh, it's a multi-level image classification using deep learning, a case study on leukemia data set. OK. So uh, my this is my full introduction screen, part. Uh, kindly, kindly full, make it full screen, perhaps. Five. Yeah. Now uh, I'm just going to give my introduction. Uh, give uh, introduction of research focus that is using deep learning for multi-level image classification for leukemia diagnosis. Leukemia is basically a part of uh, is a actually kind of cancer or child cancer that is uh, uh, generally occurring uh, in uh, urban areas. So uh, due to lifestyle, due to changes in uh, environmental factors, uh, this basically occurs in children. So uh, now uh, uh, my research focus is using deep learning for multi-level image classification in leukemia diagnosis. I have developed the optimized CNN that is using Turkey loss function. That uh, that loss function basically improves classification accuracy. My objective is to classify between normal and abnormal cells so, and further classes of classify leukemia into various types of enhanced diagnostic or accuracy. That is why it is called as multi-level image classification. 
this framework is basically using optimize or you can say advanced uh, CNN model. CNN model, we have different convol convolution layer, full layer. Uh, now, after the, going through all layers, it actually optimizes uh, the uh, scale loss functions. Uh, it addresses imbalanced data set, a common challenge in medical image analysis. It also provides you high performance metric or uh, accuracy. Okay. So I'm using leukemia image data set that is I have taken from CNMC data set. That is cancer depository data set. So uh, I have taken leukemia image data set. Now, uh, this is a vision. Uh, first, I have used deep learning and multi-level classification to offer faster, more accurate diagnostic, diagnostic tools. We have many diagnostic tools that is uh, recognize uh, that recognize very easily leukemia. But the thing is, uh, it requires more effort. It requires manual efforts and uh, uh, manpower. So basically, AI will reduce all manpower, uh, human efforts. Okay. So that is why we have used deep learning and multi-level classification to occur yeah, faster I think, and I think more I'm, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt. I think your slide is not moving. Please share your full screen. Yes, I have shared my full screen, but full screen is no, no. not visible uh, uh, sometimes. That is why uh, you can see I have shared my full okay. screen. This okay, my okay. Full no, screen. no, no, it came. Okay. This is my full screen. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Enhancing early detection. AI basically makes you unable to detect early leukemia subtypes. There are many subtypes that is very from genetic characteristics of personalized uh, with different uh, genetic uh, subtypes also. Uh, sometimes we are not able to identify uh, in an early stage. So that would be a very great, uh, that would be a very uh, uh, harmful for children. So that is why enhancing early detection, uh, reducing diagnostic error. AI definitely reduce diagnostic error by using enhanced optimization techniques. That is, I have also used a uh, loss function. That is an enhanced optimized technique that will actually reduce error and improve classification accuracy. Scalability healthcare, just develop a scalable system to improve leukemia diagnosis across diverse healthcare systems. My mission is to develop innovative AI tools to improve speed and accuracy of leukemia diagnosis. Uh, sometimes it is not able to diagon uh, diagnostic in a early stage. It would be a very uh, 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 fatality or you can say a uh, 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 fatal incident already happened due to not early diagnosis of uh, leukemia. It enhanced clinical diagnosis and making by subclassifying leukemia types using deep learning. Uh, it also addresses imbalanced medical data set to the loss function optimization in a CNN model. It contributes to better patient outcomes by enabling early detection and precise treatment plan. So, uh, uh, this is my uh, uh, architecture and also you can say the project overview. Uh, I have developed a CNN model to classify between normal and abnormal cells. There, there is a normal cells, uh, you can say it's classified according to the genetic characteristics and uh, abnormal cells also identified to the bad or you can say uh, 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 not, uh, 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 you can say not curable genetic characteristics. Okay. It subclassify leukemia into multiple types for enhanced diagnosis. These are key features you can see. I have used multi-level classification of framework that's optimized using the loss function. Uh, it also uses CNMC data set that is the uh, cancer uh, depo repository data set with over 10,000 leukemia images I have used and achieved a high accuracy in both binary and multi-class classification. Binary means binary classification means we have classified it into normal and abnormal cells. And multi-class classification means uh, it actually provides you different subtypes. It first classified into a binary classification, binary classification further classified into multi-class classification. Besides, besides uh, uh, binary classification, it also provides you uh, different subtypes uh, classification or multi-class classification. 
However, it also improves diagnostic efficiency in clinical checking. So we can see what uh, architecture have used uh, input layer, first I have taken input layer, then it will go to the convolution layer, cooling layer, then batch normalization, then uh, uh, other iteration, and I can say other convolution layer, cooling layer, and ReLU activation uh, that will enhance the, uh, the whole uh, uh, system or you can say the whole diagnostic system. Uh, then it will go to the fully connected layer. Drop out, it will provide you some errors. Uh, then it will also, again, it will go to the fully connected layer and yeah. it will optimize the lights are not moving. First of all, your sides are not moving because you have not made it full screen. That's why you are facing the problem. As of now, we are not able to see your sides. Secondly, already we have the process time limit. If possible, just move your conclusion slide and start discussion on it. Okay. Uh, these are the problem statement. You can see traditional method. We have a uh, distinction between traditional method and accurate distinction. Uh, what are the growing volume of uh, medical imaging data? Kindly make your presentation full screen. Kindly make your presentation full screen. But it is not visible in full screen, no, ma'am. That is why uh, you can see I have uh, make it as a full screen. You know. Full, full uh, yeah, yeah. Please, please, you continue with uh, your class slide. Please. Go to the conclusion part and we conclude it. Okay, these are the phase, uh, different phases I have uh, gone through in a CNN model. So you can see data collection and pre-processing, CNN architecture and performance matrix. Uh, data pre-processing, how we are, uh, we have applied rotation and flipping, zooming and sharing to improve model robustness, handling class imbalance, data splitting. Uh, these are the model development. You can see the model architecture, and uh, yeah, I have used a pretty loss function to handle uh, class imbalance by adjusting the trade off between false positive and false negative. Uh, these are the training process. In training process, I have used cross validation, batch normalization, and drop, drop out layers for regularization and preventing overfitting during training. <laughs> yes. Yeah, any suggestions for uh, please? What do you want? Yeah, in, in this loss function, this alpha and beta parameter, how do you figure out that? Uh, sorry? In this Tversky loss function, that alpha mm -hmm. and beta parameter, okay, how do you mm -hmm. figure out? So actually, I have uh, uh, used uh, it in uh, our CNN, CNN model that is optimized using quick loss function. In alpha beta, I have uh, actually used it into uh, 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 addressing the challenges posed by imbalanced data set. Uh, that uh, I have identified it into, first of all, it will, uh, I have divided it into uh, training data set and test data set. You can see in my slide, first of all, uh, slide. Hmm. No, no, data set and yes. No, but how do you choose the value that weight parameter or alpha beta? How do you choose what, the value? Uh, choose the value for what, sir? Your the alpha and beta. Alpha beta of uh, that actually I'm See. not aware of that. Sir. No, no, okay. No, the uh, the parameter that you multiply to the your false negative and false positive. That confusion matrix, yes. In interversal loss function, mm -hmm. yeah. So, how do you identify that? Okay, <clears throat> okay, uh, Ms. Preeti, tell us, uh, I mean, what is uh, you know, a lot of uh, in this area, a lot of research is being carried out now. Uh, what is mm -hmm. what is new or unique? in your this paper or research uh yes sir. because so i have compared uh many optimization techniques you can see in my paper uh i have compared many optimization techniques and after that we are getting a triple loss function i'll share my uh, uh paper you can see okay thank you 
Hello. Uh, but did you did you compare your results with uh, the results of other researchers? Because many have been working in this. Leukemia. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. I, I'll share my screen. You can see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll share my paper. Okay. Uh, first of all, that, that's so fine. That you uh, can understand. The second thing is, uh, did you validate your results with an expert doctor? Right. Because after all, for you, these are the numbers, and you do not understand uh, the medical science. Did you have an opportunity no, to not, validate? Not with, uh, not with expert doctors. Uh, it is uh, yeah. right now. It is in a pro, uh, progressing uh, stage. So okay. I, I'll have to consult. But first of all, I'll have to develop it in a. Uh, uh, first, uh, it will develop. Then I'll okay. consult. Of course, uh, I have never. Uh, uh, I didn't consult right now. Okay, good, good, good. What What was the size of the data set? How big the data set was? Yeah, uh, I have taken ten thousand images from CNMC yeah. data sets. That is a, a, a cancer depository what, uh, website. Okay. You can go to it. What 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 was your computing environment? Uh, did you use Google Colab or you had a high processing, high computing, uh, high performance computing available to you? How did you? What was your computing environment? Okay, uh, computing environment. Uh, did you use Google Colab or you had your own machines to run them? No, no, I have coded in uh, Python. Uh, so uh, I have where, never where, used. Uh, where did you? Where did you run the? Your, run your program. Where did you run your models? That's that's the question. Yes, Anna Conda sir. Erin, Priti, ma'am. Actually, Sars question is whether you have tested through using Google Colab or. Yeah? No, no, but, so right, uh, you are taking the support of Google Chrome or not? Okay. Uh, no, no, I am working on it right now. Okay, okay thank okay, you, Pratima. Work, work is not. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, thank you, Pratima. So, to another time limit, we are going to the next. Uh, thank you kindly. Uh, yes, paper ID nineteen. Paper ID nineteen. Suji sir, perhaps. You are there. Paper ID nineteen. You are there. Already, I have res responded to the received the response. Am I audible? You are. Yeah. Thank you. Paper ID nineteen. Authors are requested to kindly start your presentation. Otherwise, I have to move to the next. Which paper nineteen? Yeah, Sujit. <coughs> he yeah. already responded. He has responded in the chat box also. I'm like saying that he's not able to turn on audio, audio or something. Yeah, but okay. Audio that I will give. Don't worry. Yeah, I see the name is anonymous, so I'm not sure. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. Uh, what is the name? Sir, that's why author, I requested to all the authors kindly share your paper ID in the chat box so that the host can add you as a co-host and you will not find any difficulty. So once again, I requested you, you all the contributor authors kindly drop your paper ID in the chat box so that they can enable you as a co-host. First of all, you do like this. Okay, but brother, what is the name? Because uh... Suji, Suji, sir. Hmm? No, paper, sorry, paper number 19 is somebody else, no? Uh, Sachin Kumar and Saurabh Sasha. Sorry, 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 not Suji, Sachin. But Sachin ji. Sachin name. Oh, no, no. You already see there. Okay, uh, meanwhile, already 20, paper ID 29 and 58 okay. responded. Sachin, Sachin, Sachin Kumar is there. Sachin Kumar is there. Hello, hello, hello. Sachin ji, you are there? Yes, 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 sir, yes, sir. Your ID paper ID is nineteen. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. Kumar, yeah. I, I yeah. know my point. Also. Sir, I'm not able okay. to share my screen. Wait for okay, a while, and uh, meanwhile, Colonel Sir is going to uh, make you as a host. Yeah, I made it. Sachin Kumar. Yeah. <laughs> Over to Sachin ji, please. Sachin, you can try sharing your PPT now. Okay, Sachin, so in the meantime, what you do is you prepare a list, uh, those who are about to present, and pass it on to Aditya Parida, sir. So that's yeah, yeah. All, all, no, no, sir, already, already I have taken okay, the vote, and uh, Parida, sir, is there in that group. That's, with that's us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sachin, please say your PPT and go ahead. 
And meanwhile, I have received the response from in the chat box also 58 and 29. Yes, they are after me. Yes, that's right. So let me know. Uh, my presentation is visible. Yeah, it's visible. Over to you all. Yes, please go ahead. So first of all, uh, good of, uh, good morning, and to all professors and organizers, thank you for accepting my upset. Okay. So uh, my topic is uh, neuroimaging based detection of neurological disorders using pre-trained CNN model uh, dense net approach. So here we. Uh, look at uh, how deep learning, especially dense net pre-trained model, can help to diagnose the neurological disorders using neuroimages. So the neurological disorders affect the nervous systems, which consists of brain, spinal cord, and nerves. So it is uh, broadly categorized into CNS, that is central nervous system that affect the brain and spinal cord, and uh, peripheral nervous system that affect the uh, nerves that extend from the central nervous system to the part of the body. So according to NINDS, there are more than 400 neurological disorders. So currently, uh, over 1 million people worldwide are living with some form of neurological disorder costly, causing approximately 9 million of deaths and uh, disabilities each year. The diagnosis is quite difficult due to overlapping and complex systems. And uh, there are often a lack of advanced diagnostic tools, especially in a low resource area. This is where artificial intelligence can help. So the objectives that I uh, cover today is the classification of neurological disorders and a quick uh, overview, a quick look at neuroimaging techniques, the architecture of dense net 169, and how we can uh, use this uh, dense net 169 for detecting neurological disorders, and finally the limitations of current work and future directions. So this is the classification of neurological disorders. As there are more than 400 neurological dis uh, disorders, a few of them are listed here in this tag. Uh, sir, uh, please, please let me know. Uh, my slide is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, visible. Okay. Yes, it's visible. Please, oh, okay. So it comprises uh, like a movement disorders, psychiatric disorders, neuromuscular, neurodegenerative, neurodevelopment, and so on, and uh, which, which are further classified into like uh, uh, dementia, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, and uh, neurodegenerative disorders, where OCD, anxiety, and depressions are neuropsychiatric disorders, and, and others too. So these can uh, be diagnosed diagnose using neuroimaging techniques. So here are the neuroimaging techniques. Neuroimaging is a crucial for diagnosing neurological disorders. Some common techniques include uh, structural imaging, structural images that provide detailed images of uh, brain anatomy, while functional imaging shows brain activity, by measuring uh, changes in the flow of uh, blood, means blood flow. And uh, MRIs, that is magnetic resonance imaging, are best for soft tissues, uh, often used for brain tumor detections and almost each neurological disorders, where CT can help to detect strokes at, uh, as it gives detailed images of brain structures. And uh, on, on the other hand, EEG is used to measure electrical activities and in the brain that helps to diagnose neurological conditions like epilepsy, seizures, sleep disorders, schizophrenia, and many more. So all these uh, neuroimaging techniques provides the data that uh, we can uh, feed into AI models for automatic diagno uh, diagnosis and development of AI models. Uh, so the overview of uh, DenseNet 169 architectures. Uh, uh, it is a deep learning pre-trained models uh, from the DenseNet family. It is a great, uh, great for image classification tasks like detecting brain disorders because uh, because of how it uh, connects each layers of network to every other layers. So, and uh, DenseNet 169 has approximately uh, 14.3 million parameters, uh, and uh, this relatively small uh, small number of parameters as compared to other deep networks. And it is due to its efficient design and uh, promotes feature reuse through DenseNet connections. So DenseNet 169 has four dense blocks. Block one have six layers. Block two have 12 layers. Block three and four uh, have uh, 32 layers. So this uh, model is highly efficient for detecting patterns in images and is particularly useful for medical images analysis. <clears throat> so uh, coming to the uh, experiment part, uh, we performed experiment uh, using DenseNet 169 to detect uh, three major neurological disorders, that is brain tumor, stroke, and schizophrenia. So experiment one uh, is on brain tumor. The MRI images, the data of tumor was taken from Kaggle, uh, which is a public repository and having that have two uh, 600 images where 1300 are uh, of brain tumor and 1300 are uh, of normal or healthy. Uh, data, uh, the data was partitioned into 8020 and here uh, we use patches a batch of 25 and uh, while running 25 epochs. And experiment two 
uh, is on stroke but here we used ct scan images of brain and experiment 3 is on schizophrenia detection uh, here we use cover uh, data set that is center for biomedical research excellence uh, it is a public data set and uh, it contains mri neuroimaging data uh, but here we use a batch of 32 while running to 50 pokes so one thing to note that each experiment was performed standalone um, individually <clears throat> so methodology firstly the neuroimaging data was taken from uh, different repository then it was processed like uh, stacking slices from volumes removing the noisy and blurred mri and ct scans then all these slices are resized to a constant uh, uniform size that is 224 by 224 then the pre processing data was split into training and testing the training data was used to train dense net on neuroimaging data while the test set was uh, applied uh, to test the train model finally the performance was uh, uh, performance of model is evaluated in terms of accuracy precision and uh, specificity so, so these are the results that we obtain so Uh, we obtained uh, after applying a uh, dense net 169 models for brain, uh, for brain tumor we got a 97.69% accuracy for stroke 93.33% and for schizophrenia we got a 95.95% accuracy so below are the confusion matrices that we obtained so these are the accuracy curves uh, that we obtained for brain tumor stroke and uh, schizophrenia so coming to the limitation and future scope so even though the results are promising but uh, there are few limitations of my work at because uh, this is at uh, under processing we are we are working on it and uh, we use a relatively small number of images collecting data from multiple sources can uh, help improve model robustness that we can uh, use a different data set for testing our model to make more robust model uh, our work is based on single modality data that is uh, for uh, for brain tumor we use only mr data Uh, we can use multiple uh, data like mri and ct scan and uh, make it a multi modality and uh, in future uh, combining multiple images type like mri ct pet spect or other magic uh, other magic modality uh, can uh, make the model more robust and accurate additionally feature extraction techniques like pca l lbp hog or many modes we can apply it uh, to make the, uh, to improve the performance of the model so we can build a single ai model that can detect multiple neurological disorders instead of training a separate ai model for each disorder so so densenet 169 has a great potential in detecting neurological disorders like brain tumor stroke schizophrenia from uh, mri and ct scan images so this can uh, this can great improve diagnostic accuracy and help in early detection especially in reason with the limited medical resources so we can use uh, we here we not use any feature reduction extraction technique so we can uh, apply this Uh, techniques to improve the performance of model so thank you for your uh, thank you uh, this is uh, this is all from me my side so i have some queries can i ask you yes yes ma'am okay 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 uh, so have you used any model other than densenet yes yes ma'am i used uh, uh, some pre trained model vgg 16 19 and uh, resnet but uh, uh, comparely uh, Uh, the, this dense net is uh, uh, give the better performance as compared to other, but, uh, but with, without without applying any feature extraction techniques. Uh, giving better performance, uh, but uh, at the cost of computational complexity, more computational complexity, or equivalent computational complexity. Uh, dense net uh, actually uh, this dense net one sixty nine has a low number of parameters, so it is. Uh, How many parameters? How many model parameters are there uh, in dense net? It, it is uh, approximately fourteen point three million parameters. Ah, sir, fourteen point three million parameters. Oh, I have another uh, query. That is, uh, you uh, mentioned regarding multimodal, no? Yes, so, um, are you thinking of uh, different? Uh, are you thinking of neuro images from uh, multiple sources for multimodality, or other different uh, medical images? From uh, which point of view? Uh, ma'am from other uh, medical uh, modalities like uh, uh, we can use other uh, modalities like spect to fuse this uh, pet uh, spect and uh, eeg modalities so to make uh, oh, so uh, you are thinking of uh, other different medical images yes yes okay uh, okay thank you thank, thank you, you for your presentation huh? thank you thank you yeah uh, thank you rasachin for a nice work uh, i'm just uh, interested to know like when you resize the image 
yes, is there sir. any possibility of losing some details from the image? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No. So wh why do you resize? You bring all the images to the same size? Uh, yes, the yes, size. Sir. I, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, actually, dense net uh, uh, one sixteen work on two two four by two two four image size. Mm -hmm. But there is a possibility in t in case of medical images that if you resize the medical data, then there is a uh, possibility of uh, loss of medical information. Yeah, that yes, is yes. That's what I was thinking. Yes, because this yes, is a very yes. sensitive application. If you resize, yes, yes. you lose very sensitive one. Hmm. So you will not be able to train your model properly. So that was my question, worry actually. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, you have uh, used eighty percent, twenty percent, eighty percent for training and twenty percent for testing. Is any okay. specific reason? Did you try with 70, 30 or other models or at least the tenfold cross validation kind of thing? Yeah, yes, sir. we can use cross validation, uh, even uh, 70, 30 proportions. But comparatively, I uh, my model gives the best performance at 80, 20. Okay, okay so nice one. You can just build on that. How did you do the validation and testing of your data? Because sir, I, uh, I see second, your result um, is very high, very good. So how did you do that? Sir, I'm already said that uh, I'm currently working on it. I I validate my work uh, with the primary data. I consult the medical facility, uh, medical hospital to uh, retrieve data from there and uh, apply that, uh, use that data as for the test purpose. Okay. Good. I have a few questions over here. So I primarily work on uh, the healthcare sector. Okay, sir. Um, one of the leading cloud providers in India. Uh, so mm -hmm. specifically, I have seen this the TensNet 169 is being used in uh, multiple uh, like MRI uh, data analysis. Now, what the biggest challenge is like it doesn't support multimodal and uh, it doesn't actually has any uh, text analysis basis, right? Like, like you cannot. Go and search maybe a triple A paper, uh, which actually helps oncology. Now, yes, do you have any thoughts about it? Like how we are going to do that? Yes, sir. We can uh, actually. I'm working on multimodality data. I fuse the fourth uh, fMRI and SMRI data, including uh, also uh, use. Uh, uh, pet, pet images and uh, we, I use the feature uh, D feature level fusions and uh, on that uh, I used uh, meta learning here. Okay. So to another time interest and uh, I'm just uh, inviting the paper ID 28. Sachinji, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, please. You may stop share your PPT so that uh, we may invite the next. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, Sachin. Sir, thank you. Suresh ji, Suresh sir, you are there. Paper ID 28. Suresh sir, you are there. If not, then I'm going to the paper ID 29. Subrat sir, you are there? Yes, sir. Uh, paper ID 29 that would be presented by Dr. Shivnath Ghosh, sir, if you allow. Yeah, paper ID 29. Yeah, paper ID 29, sir. Okay, Thank please. Oh, uh, right now, our Polida uh, sir is going to uh, add you as a host. What, please wait for a while. Shivnath? Yeah, Shivnath goes, sir. This is paper ID 29. Please allow me for presentation. Just a moment. Just a moment. Why the name? Oh my God. Uh, so actually, the name is uh, HUD Computer Science and Engineering. By default, this name is there. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, so, please wait. Please wait, yeah. please wait for a while. Please wait. No, no. Why, yeah, HUD Computer Science. name he has entered in because... My name is... Sir, uh, perhaps HUD Computer Science. No, no, HUD Computer Science. No by HUD. I'll just read the name. Uh, Surupananda Subrat. Yeah, he who is our session chair. Simanchal Siddharth. Uh, so paper ID 63. No, no, just tell me which one now I have to say. Okay. I mean, same name is not there. That's my problem. Yeah, name is not there, sir. Uh, just because by default I log in it and HOD Computer Science would be there in my name, sir. And what is your yeah. name? My name is Dr. Shivnath Ghosh, sir. And paper ID 29, sir. 
Sir, just check below Himalayas. So that's exactly I'm saying. I can't find signal. No, no, there just check, sir. Below Himalayas, Sanapati. Below Himalayas, Sanapati. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Now is there a 3D computer science? My fault. Yeah. computer science. Uh, it is by default. That's why. Okay, okay, okay. I was looking yes, at S. Yes, okay. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Oh, sir, you can start, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, let me share my PPT, sir. So is it visible to you, sir, everyone? Yes. Visible. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank yeah, you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, good afternoon, good morning, everyone. And uh, this is uh, Dr. Shivnath Ghosh. And uh, definitely, it's, uh, uh, it's a pleasure for me that uh, you are giving us an opportunity uh, to present our paper. OK, so this paper is uh, prepared as well as still we are working uh, by a group of uh, researchers. And uh, we are uh, the Pial Roy, Subroto Paul, Shivnath Ghosh, myself, Amitabha Poddar, and Shoktarishi Sharkar. Uh, we are all from the Brainware University, Barashat. Uh, my paper ID is 29. And uh, my paper name is AI in Real-Time Disaster Management and uh, MR emergency response so i hope uh, this would be great for our near future for the, this paper okay so moving towards uh, about the abstract if i talk about then uh, artificial intelligence is transforming disaster management and emergency response by enabling real time data analysis oh, because uh, this disaster management is uh, Disaster management is a reactive, whereas we are trying to make it proactive model. And uh, I would like to say, still we are working on that. Uh, we we could not find a good data and uh, as well as result, but we are working on that. And uh, we are finding some efficient resource also. This paper presents a comprehensive review of AI-driven technology, including machine learning, uh, natural language processing, and Internet of Things. These are the technology we are trying to uh, coming. Uh, we are trying to make them all together and trying uh, good uh, models, and that contribute to enhance disaster management, and uh, so that we can get a quick response and uh, we can overcome or we can uh, plan uh, in a way so that we can uh, provide to uh, some response to our areas and living uh, whatever the people they are living there so we such kind of planning uh, we have right now so moving towards uh, if we talk about the introduction, disaster management has uh, traditionally been a reactive process, whereas we are uh, trying to make a, a decision making process and where decision making was based on post event evaluations rather than the pro, uh, proactive uh, strategies. However, recent advance in AI technology offers new possibilities. So that's why we are using the AI for transforming the uh, transforming it into the emergency response into proactive real-time uh, solutions it will provide and AI ability that we know that AI ability to process vast amount of data in real time and it can process and find some decisions uh, then and there. <clears throat> so in such regards, uh, what we are trying, actually we are using some methodology. Uh, first, we are trying uh, to find out some research review, what has been already done. And uh, so many papers we have collected an extensive review of existing AI applications, disaster management. Uh, we are focusing on then recent advanced technology. Uh, we are including the machine learning and uh, real time analysis, IoT based disaster response. We are making it and uh, we are finding. We have done some case studies also. Uh, in this case studies, what we are finding in depth analysis, and uh, we are finding so many parameters uh, for 
uh, for uh, uh, such kind of disasters. And uh, we are studying on such things. Case studies includes the use of AI and uh, real time systems. And we are finding some predictive analysis also. So uh, as I told you, our research paper completely uh, it's a primary stage and we are trying to find out literature review case studies and we are also finding some simulations model that will provide a good results and uh, in this simulation model uh, we are studying uh, different models still uh, we couldn't find any good one and if i talk about the data collections data is gathered from the uh, multiple resources including satellite images we are trying to get iot uh, related things we are getting social media platform where we are getting the data to access the real time data we are uh, finding some organizations so that we can get uh, some uh, real data and so that we can work on that what we will provide after this whole things and if we say what we are trying to say uh, we are trying uh, to find uh, a significant significant result that will help to understand this disaster management and uh, uh, we are improving uh, such response speed accuracy and uh, and uh, a model that will help to uh, our um, our society that, that is our planning so actually it is totally based on our plan still we couldn't uh, find some good results so uh, this is about uh, my paper that we are planning uh, and still uh, we couldn't reach out any uh, good conclusions but we are trying it on it so this is a few about my planning and our team is planning for that uh, but still <laughs> it's a, just a plan so this is a few about uh, our research paper that we are planning. Hello, uh, I think, but uh, in your abstract, you mentioned that we have done the work and all that. So we are expecting uh, some results. We are expecting some results. It's okay. It's okay. But actually, uh, uh, yes, sir, uh, you are right. Abstract. Yeah. Actually, uh, if we talk about in the reality, so still it is pending some work. Whereas I'm. Uh, whatever data we have based on that we can say uh, we have done so many things but uh, we are not satisfied with our uh, right now data with our right now data that's why i'm saying still we are working on that sir. okay uh, under your methodology you mentioned about multifaceted approach what do you mean by multifaceted approach actually sir uh, we are trying with the different different methodology for example once i have tried we have tried with uh, taking ai and where we were talk talking about the back propagation neural network and uh, it provides a, a good result so what exactly the back propagations means it is giving some output and based on the output we are making preparing some input again we are changing the parameters it it, it is something like that so actually we couldn't reach out any uh, proper conclusion still we are trying a different that, different that, 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 yes. that's okay that's okay now coming to i think it's a good i mean it's a very good topic and some interesting work can be done because you say you are going to collect your data from satellite images you are going to collect yes. your data from iot and as well as social media yes so, yes do you plan to get your data from iot do you have are you have you set up a iot network uh, actually, uh, still we uh, didn't set up any IoT uh, based things. Uh, if we, uh, if required, because we are uh, studying on that. If required, then definitely we will use some IoT based things. And of course, uh, uh, if required, then we will do that. So as I told you, uh, we are in a very primary phase uh, for this research, and it it is a long uh, path that we need to. Uh, yeah, but but you, you will have a you will have a major challenge because the data that you get from satellites and IoT and social media they will not be in the same format. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. You yes. will find problem in integrating the data to train the model. I don't know what you are planning to do, but this will be a major challenge if you have. Actually, uh, you are you are very uh, very correct, sir. Uh, that they, they are in different uh, uh, way we are getting, but uh, we will select some certain parameter based on that we will analyze. So, and we will prepare in such a way, such input. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, all the best for your future work. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, everyone. Sure. So I have so small questions. Uh, can you tell me that uh, how exactly the AI models can be optimized for real-time decision making during the disaster? Uh, uh, actually, sir, uh, it would not be a completely AI model. It would be a machine learning model means uh, because it will learn and it will give the decisions. And AI model means it means totally based on yes and no. But it would not be the totally a based on a uh, the facts. It it will learn in the real time and. And based on the data, it will provide the decisions. So yeah, I'm, I'm right. asking the same. I'm asking the same. But how do you optimize the real-time decision making? Uh, During the disaster actually, response. Yes, you are right, sir. Based on that, uh, I, that's why I said uh, that we need more and more data because, because we'll uh, be collecting the data from the different sources. As yes, yes. Said, all the data formats are different. Yes, yes. Then you will get a challenge for taking the real-time decision making. Yeah, uh, you are right, sir. It would be a very difficult, but uh, we are uh, trying uh, uh, trying it using the different different model, uh, model, and we are studying the different different algorithms also, which is suitable for uh, us. But still, we couldn't find and we could not fix one model or one algorithms. Still, it is working, sir. Oh, because uh, handling the static data is different, and handling yes. the real time data that is different. Same machine learning can be used for the different purpose, but the setup and the optimization technique is completely different. Yeah, that, yes, that yes. is not mentioned in your abstract part. Yeah, it's still not mentioned because, uh, sorry to say, but it's still we are working. It's a very long and big project. Uh, you can say it's yes. not a research only. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's yeah, a project. Yeah, right. I, I, we do understand. Thank you. Yeah, it's a project actually. How, how, yes. Is it a research project or uh, how long is this project? Actually, Actually, it's a research project. It's a project that we were working, but we are making a, is it a government a, project or uh, I mean from. No, no, sir. It's not a government project. We didn't. Sir, they any. are in ideation stage. They are going to submit this project proposal in government agency very yes, soon. Yes, they are yes, working yes. on it. Yes, sir, yes we are working on it. Idea, yeah. How can you write a paper? I mean, you don't have the data. It is just a planning stage. And no, no, sir. Uh, we have some data, uh, but we are required more and more data, sir. Where from you collected the data? Sir, uh, as I told you, uh, we are trying to uh, find out some organizations, but still we didn't get any organizations so that uh, from where we can get the data. But it's, we have some research uh, papers and from there, but it's not a uh, real data, but we are uh, getting it. And we are taking the idea from that and we will approach, uh, helping those data, we will approach organizations to find okay. out the real and data. How, how long you started this work? Sir, uh, we near about uh, four to five months, we uh, we are working on that. Still, uh, we couldn't find any results. OK, OK, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Go, sir. Uh, you may uh, be I mean, uh, kindly start your work and uh, complete the mission. Yeah, yeah thank, you. Thank, <clears throat> you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, I would like to request to invite paper ID 32 Asal, Aslam Khan Sahib. Khan Sahib, you are there? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Over to Khan Sahib. Aslam Khan. Okay. Yes, sir. Khan, Khan Sahib, please wait for a while. Just, sir, is going to add you as a co-host. Yeah, I've added. Yeah. Over to Khan Sahib. So is it paper ID 32? Yes, sir. Yeah, ma'am. It's paper ID 32. Okay. Meanwhile, only 22, 28 has not been responded. And lastly, we will check. Otherwise, uh, it is in the queue only. Okay. Aslan ji, kuch problem? Haan, chalo. Please continue. So good morning, everyone. everyone. Sir, so, sir, sir, today in, in today's healthcare environment, we may we manually process the, process the medical medicine delivery. 
the in in case of hospitals there is a in in case of hospital emergency there is a nurse needs to bring the medicine instead of assisting the patients and doctors so we developed so to address these challenges we developed our modi medibots it it is an ai powered ml robot that can bring all of those stuffs by picking them from a destination or we can implement it in many ways like uh, it can assist uh, doctors in operation rate or anything we can implement it further so basic prototype it will detect the object and bring it to the doctor it uh, it has many features like obstacle avoidance medicine delivery and improving it improve the hospital efficiency and reduce human errors by by detecting so the problem arises when the hospital face logistical challenges in for time and accurate delivery also there might be a human error for manually processing choosing medicines over the stocks and uh, in also in sufficient operations and many workload for the nurses so so this is the medical solution where we we use our autom autonomous robot that uh, that optimizes delivery times and also errors and increase medical efficiency and patient care so our vision our vision is to tra transform healthcare logistic so so this this might be a future robot that can be integrated with medical medical emergency also we aim to ensure faster more accurate and reliable hospital operations while also reducing the workload for the healthcare staff this is just the start as this system can be expanded for broader applications such as patient care diagnostics so so this is the our business model where we just need initial setup fee that might be a mostly for the robot deployment and uh, there there will be a monthly maintenance and in future we can expand our model according to their user uses and hospital requirements so sir so there might be any existing solution where so, so there is any existing solution which might be which might be un inaccurate it offers but our solution medibots offer end to end automation with text based verifications it reduces human errors and seamless workflow as uh, sir we have automation and excellent adaptability sir our mission is clear to build intelligent robots that enhance healthcare logistic by ensuring precise autonomous medicine delivery so this is the where user start it gives it turn on the robot and robot recognizes text pick up box using camera and ocr system then robotic arms pick the medicine box and it bring back to the doctor where the medicine or those luggage needed so this is a pro project overview where it is a game changer in medicine delivery offering text based verification for the medicine identification or any medicine box identification it has also self learning capabilities for continuous environment improvement and it is a end to end automation for seamless work <coughs> it more like unlike human employees it it will be available 24 into 7 as its robot and it also cost effective in long term it just need any it just need a installation charge and after that we just need maintenance and that's all that it reduces the those those staff staff's payload and their more workings as it is autonomous and also efficient it it is faster more faster and accurate so our problem statement is the manual handling of machine that can lead delays error and also increase in, increase staff workload 
for the nurses that nurses may might need to assist doctor instead they go to the warehouse or any pharmacy and bring medicines that may affect the patient care so this so so this medibot is for those tasks so how aiml work aiml can optimize the decision making for choosing medicines ml models can ensure efficient autonomous and navigation seamless navigations and error free operations so this uh, the Sanshav, kindly move to the last slide and uh, narrate about the conclusion and uh, your work please <laughs> yes sir this is a methodology where <coughs> we developed an autonomous system using phase one in in phase one sorry in phase one it focuses on developing autonomous system where lidar cnn and reinforcement learning models are employed for navigation obstacle avoidance in phase two integration of ml decision making such as classifying must medicines in a for the classifying medicines and phase three involves the testing and optimization of hospital involvement so medibot so this is the workflow for the robot so we can take data from the hospital maps patient patient data for the medicine classification and also sensor data from the lidar sensor for any obstacle avoidance that might be in a hospital a person work, working in the hospital that might be any obstacles <laughs> So for prototype, we have developed a model. I might show you that uh, that grip us the the box and bring back and hold. So for our the future scope, these are the models we can deploy. CNN for line detection, common analytics that uh, might be trained on flow data at achieving 95 percent. Also, there is a deep Q network where <laughs> the where it's aimed to optimize path efficiency. It has okay, Aslanji. Okay, Aslanji. Just uh, uh, kindly listen the suggestions and questions from the panel and the audience, please. Yes. So, okay, uh, you have uh, done any previous uh, comparison with any previous literature works? Yes, ma'am. Can you show? Ma'am, which type of competition? Literature work? Previous literature works, previous works in the literature. Any comparison with all the existing works? Ma'am, we have uh, built our so this solution in Smart India Hackathon, where we got selected. I made, might show you the illustration and the model. May I show you, ma'am? Have you implemented this one? All yes, these things? Yes, ma'am. I have implemented a prototype. These are the final and future scope solutions. But ma'am, we have simply invented a prototype model for a robot, Stadica robot, where we have all the features of objects, avoidance, part, part detection, and well, ma'am, let me show you. Yes, sir. How, how, where exactly the races uh, flourish here? This is that you have developed a prototype model. That model should be in a developed stage. Have you have you done any kind of impl implementation on that? Have you gone through any comparison of your proposed model to the existing literature? Yes, sir. We have integrated ML models in it. Sir, we have trained our robot flow model. Now it seems to be all hypothetical. Have you done any kind of implementation? If it is, then you demonstrate it or just show the results i think in one of the slides it has it has been mentioned that the models are implemented on raspberry pi or something like that that is why i'm asking mm, is there yes. any implementation yes ma'am we have implemented I it think, on I, I, think, I, I, I think he was trying to show a video of his implementation can you quickly show that well yeah. while answering the question please play the videos So this is the 
सर रेस्पिरेटरी इंस्टॉल्ड है ओके सो इट्स ओवर्स द ऑब्स्टेकल्स एंड डिटेक्ट्स द बॉक्स सो सपोज दिस इज द मेडिसिन बॉक्स how do you detect the medicines or the location of the box sir here in this prototype it detects through the lines that those black lines but we have also implemented using the object detection we have uh, we have trained the model for, from a custom data set of images of these boxes and uh, and it deployed to the those resp deployed it to the raspberry pi and <laughs> this robot identifies the box sir, uh, sir for object detection uh, what is the tool you have used sir <laughs> what is the tool name for object detection sir ma'am for object we have used open cv and also a, an a robo flow model okay anything else uh, that you want to show <laughs> sir one one thing so this is our our flow model these are the trading graphs <laughs> there almost uh, a precision of 91.5% <laughs> so let me show you with an example So suppose the medicine box it identifies the box <coughs> so my yes it is so there it identify the those blocks as blue in case of any boxes it identify and lab, labeled box it identifies blue and any color we can also do the text processing where the object identifies the text written on the box and picks it up we can implement it using uh, natural language processing on many thing object okay yes that's fine okay thank you i think as of now you have only uh, done the robot part to uh, to pick up a medical uh, medicine box and place it elsewhere so that that part you have implemented right also we have implemented those object detection part where robot detects the box <laughs> using and ml model okay that's okay yeah yes sir. these are the sort of future scopes we can build yeah aslam ji yeah thank you and all the best for your model and i hope in coming days you will come with a very live model and because do you know that the members who are present over here some of them are good in robot robot so Yeah, I hope we, we, you may be connected with them to get good suggestion from them. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you. You may leave, kindly stop sharing your PPT so that we may move to the next. One second. Thank you. Yeah, but, uh, I would like to inform you that uh, the next author, uh, Ravi Panda sir. Is having two papers, uh, two extract, uh, thirty-two and uh, paper and thirty-two and forty, uh, thirty-three and forty-two. Uh, yes, so yes, whether we will continue, yeah, whether we will listen him both the uh, articles then after uh, or one by one. No, one, no, one by one. One by one. Okay, uh, yes. Ravi Panda sir, uh, you just uh, where are you now, right now? Sir, I'm in the office, sir, because here working day on Sunday. Uh, I mean Saudi only. Yeah. Yes, Saudi only, na? Okay, you may start share your PPT and uh, at first thirty-three. Then uh, now I request to Parida sir, please make him his co-host. Sir, um, sharing option is not showing here. Yeah, please wait, please wait, please wait. Somendra sir or Aditya sir will make you as a co-host. Then after. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, over to Panda sir, please. Sir, uh, are you able to see this uh, screen now? Sir, are you able to see yeah, the coming. screen? Yeah, now it's visible to us. Yes, it's okay. coming. Yes. What, what uh, is it, uh, sir? Uh, uh, sir, uh, good morning to. 
Yeah, good morning. What what is this paper number? Uh, yeah, it's Odia 33, Hindu sir. 33, paper 33. 33. So, sir, uh, sir I'll, I'll start, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, uh, please. So, our aim is uh, to create the Odia uh, character data set. Uh, actually, sir, there are many work has done, not like, no, many work has been completed uh, by the, I, I mentioned here, by the NIT of uh, uh, this one, uh, our ISA Kolkata, IIT Bhubaneswar and all. Uh, and NIT Raurkal also, they have done the many of the work, but we even more focus about the compound character and uh, we collected about the different uh, newspaper from the all over uh, India, all the languages, all the languages of the newspaper and we have gone through uh, different uh, uh, label, different schools, colleges, Anganwadi centers and even if the village people, we created the data set means we collected the data first and return data then after going to the all the different kind of processing we created huge uh, the benchmark of the no uh, benchmark of the data set about 2 lakh 19 thousand 219 thousands of the data set we created and that one we publicly uh, we uh, kept in the manly data set by the giving giving the different version and uh, that one we have put it in one paper about the data brief paper and there are one journal which is already published uh, by uh, accepting that uh, data set so this is my sir uh, outline of this uh, paper okay so when you go for this the main aim of our data set because we know uh, odia any we are all are odia odia so we know that odia is one of the languages of our india and uh, our aim is to create the data set so that future it will be helpful for any research purpose and all things or to recognize the handwritten because handwritten is uh, not in particular order i will show you some of the uh, handwritten like anganwadi people they have written like it is not nobody can read what is written there we cannot recognize why it is or it is all like that half of the things they are written so we we predict the model and my second paper i have mentioned here the generative AI and deep learning techniques where it will be recognized. This paper is sir, uh, to create the data set creation, like the benchmark of the data set creation. Uh, so uh, after creating, we given the data set name as a uh, Oria Handwritten Character Data Set uh, by GIT, because I'm the research scholar of the GIT University of the um, year in Gunpur. So OHC is GIT version 1, then we have given the version 2 and version 3 for the newspaper character. So we, we created the 219,489 of the images, which is uh, uh, publicly available uh, and uh, it is published by the Manly and uh, Scopus Journal. So sir, it is the uh, continuing same concept I'm saying here, uh, because to recognize the handwritten, it is one of the difficult tasks. So we have co come to the concept of, I'll show you here. This is my vision of this uh, uh, paper we have to compare the previously what is published the data set then we created the new data set so uh, the main is to develop the effective and robust framework of this odia character which is taking uh, because my paper it is uh, simple and compound as well as the newspaper data set then we have gone for the training Ravi sir Ravi, Ravi sir Ravi yes, sir no doubt yes. uh, you are going to discuss about your work, previous work later on what sort of work you are going to present over please yes. focus upon that because time is uh, less and okay. uh, you have two papers. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So we have last one minute. Uh, this is about the data collection, scanning, annotation, all the pre processing techniques we have done. Sir, these are the some of the images I have kept. We kept the data from the uh, head, simple character, compound character, and newspaper of data. Then we have gone to the VGG annotation. VGG annotation, after making the VGG annotation, it created an Excel file. Like same thing, compound newspaper, all it created an Excel file. After creating the Excel file, uh, we applied the deep learn, uh, we applied the uh, our Python programming to extract the character. Once we extracted the character, it becomes the grayscale. After coming to the grayscale, because we know the concept of the grayscale and binary, then we uh, change into the binary images. All, all, all characters we converted into the binary. After binary, we made into the inverted images. Then some of the case we have used some argumentation techniques to uh, to increase our next uh, volume. Some ten thousand something. I have used the argumentation uh, images. Uh, then, sir, uh, after this, we published the data set in Manly Data. There are three uh, version of the data set here: OHCD GIT one, OHCD of GIT version two and OLCD of GIT version 3. There are three data set we publish in the Manly and it is uh, uh, we have given for the uh, data brief, under one data brief paper that is uh, under process and one journal is published uh, by taking this uh, data set. And uh, recently I have applied by using the same data set, one more journal I have applied, sir. And these are the some of the reference paper for uh, reference uh, I have used here, sir. 
this is this is the sir my methodology concept here like uh, we collected the data then uh, uh, we have gone for the scanning process we scan the data all the images then uh, we use the annotation techniques then under pre processing these are the steps we have done sir and if you go for here we compare the data set we compare the data set uh, like uh, nit raurkala they have done the data set and they have already uh, used the recognizing uh, rate by using of the uh, they got the uh, accuracy of 99% by using the this one um, CNN model, there are many models they have implemented. Then IIT Bhubaneswar and uh, ISI Kolkata, they have done the different uh, data set. We we compare everyone's data set and we created we increase the volume and given more importance to the complex character and from the newspaper uh, data set, sir. This this much only, sir. Sir. Yeah, over to Manas sir, Sorup sir, Ma'am Nilamata sir. Yeah, so what yeah. is your, uh, you also use the CNN? Sir, uh, we have what used is? the next paper I have explained. Sir, next to my paper, I have explained about the VGG. Uh, we, we have used about our uh, ResNet. We have used uh, Inception. And uh, after getting some of the accuracy, like it was getting less than 80, then we used okay. the customized CNN model. Uh, then okay, uh, we sorry. implemented the generative AI of Guru and uh, LSTM model, long short term memory. It is the next paper, it is there, and we got the uh, prediction and the, the matching the uh, accuracy of this one. So, okay. this is only for data set creation, sir. So, very less time. So, I mentioned only this. Sir, kindly listen to, like, kindly listen. <laughs> yeah, please yes, over to panel. Yes, sir. No, uh, the I mean, title what is different? Because you said IIT and others have already, you know, have this data set. So what is the difference between your data set and their data set? Uh, sir, they have done the, not uh, like I have done the bunch of the data set. Like I made the first thing, I made it the more huge, like more than 200,000. That is the huge okay. data set. Second thing, uh, they have given more importance only for the simple character and the uh, letters, you know, our numbers, one to nine numbers. But what we did, uh, we uh, collected the compound character, you know, compound character like onko, onko, oncho, oncho, like that type. That type of character okay. recognizes is one of the difficult tasks. So we uh, did the work about this uh, compound character. And uh, uh, sir, one thing, as you know, we have no that much of server and all capability. So we purchased the, from the Google Collapse and uh, we used, the, we divided the data set into, again, voiceless, voice and uh, um, one more is uh, so there are some different criteria. We have done the different different criteria, and we got the uh, we use those deep learning models. Sir. Okay. No, no, okay. So my question is: Your title is is all about Odia handwritten characters. Yes, why did you take uh, the newspaper as input data from uh, the sir, newspaper? Sir, newspaper is a rough paper. It is. It, it, I'll show you here. This newspaper here. It, this paper, sir. This is a rough paper. This is like you no know, many character is written behind it. Hello. Hello. I think he has some network issues. I think. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, he will join. Actually, I want. I would like to share one thing that. Uh, as we are talking about ODI NLP and we all will agree that uh, none other than Sangamitra Mahanti ma'am, she has initiated uh, the ODI NLP. So at least, uh, although she is not with us, but uh, we can remember her contribution towards ODI NLP, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah that's right. She had, a, she had a huge project actually. She had a huge project. And I think these days, uh, our Sarup, uh, he is very much active in the Odia language. Yes, yeah, so, Dr. Shanti Pio Parida, sir. So, Dr. Sarupananda Bishoy, and, and even though I can say that uh, triple IIT professor, uh, um, one professor is there. Uh, so, they all are working on actively in Odia NLP. So, and we should not forget about the contribution or initiation done by Professor Sangamitra Mahanti, ma'am, because she is, I can say she is the founder of uh, ODI NLP. We cannot start any work without paying homage to her, actually. Yeah. yeah exactly. So, and so you, uh, you must cite her. Yeah. And uh, in context to my, uh, newspaper, so I can add one more thing that yesterday our Anjan Shah said one news article with us, Matru Hasa. So it is. Uh, 
and today searching for that matruvas article and uh, i'm expecting that sanjan sir is going he's going to share it with us so that uh, we should not forget to read about the matruvas article because uh, yesterday the first page cover our odisha ai conference oh great okay. yeah okay uh, ravi panda sir you are there I ah, guess he has some internet yeah. issue, so maybe maybe you can call the next person, and then probably when he joins, he can continue. Yeah, I think we can do that. Way. Please call the next presenter. You you can send him a message so that he doesn't get worried, and you we can try with the next presenter. Yeah, actually, Ravi Panda is having two articles, thirty-three, thirty-two. Actually, right now he joined from. Now I have to someone who is paper eighty. Someone sir, you are there? No, no, we we got it. Someone sir, you are there? No, what what what? I am saying that you please send a WhatsApp message to him. He need not worry. Yeah, yeah. He can join later, but we will yeah. continue with the next okay. next uh, paper. Okay, please wait. He may have some problems, so he can join later. Can you join? Uh, sir, I'm so sorry. Uh, suddenly, internet has uh, got down. Yes, sir. No, it's just pro proceed to your next paper. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Ravi, sir, can you send your second paper? Yes, sir. Ravi, sir. Yeah, please. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm doing, sir. Please, sir. Uh, this is the. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm so much sorry, sir, because immediately I changed the place. Uh, sir, uh, this is my second paper about the implementation of the deep learning model for the ODI handwritten character uh, recognition and pattern matching by using the long short uh, memory. Uh, sir, uh, when you go for this, uh, we use our data set uh, of uh, our our own data set, which is uh, already published in uh, uh, the version one, version two, and version three. Then uh, uh, we use the deep learning uh, methods of uh, ResNet uh, inception, and uh, by using the uh, after that we use as a uh, customized CNN for uh, getting the more uh, accuracy value. Then uh, we use this uh, training and testing accuracy by using the uh, accuracy level, and one more is called uh, loss level. Then we got uh, we implement the GRU uh, and LSTM model, and we got the 95% of the uh, prediction. Uh, in the uh, pattern matching so sir uh, here uh, i have explained here we use the resnet and uh, inception v3 uh, so in because initially the it was not uh, satisfied about our your uh, our model so uh, because we are getting all uh, less than 80% of the accuracy level about our data then what it, we did uh, we use the customized cnn with the maximum uh, conventional layer of the uh, we use there then uh, we compare this uh, inception v3 and resnet then we use the cnn here uh, after making this we got the uh, uh, like because we, I, I said we, we divided into the different different uh, level like uh, different uh, classification like vowels voice and voiceless and unstructured data so when you go for this uh, vowels we got 95.71 percentage and uh, for the voice we got 93.97 percentage of this one and the voiceless we got 94% percentage finally on structure we got as a 94 point it will be 0.24 percentage so sir the same things uh, here uh, after using this uh, deep learning model then we use this uh, customized model then we applied the lstm because my paper is about lstm long short term memory concept so here sir this is this is uh, different some of the example i have not mentioned here all the accuracy graph and all thing roc graph Uh, I have used here uh, train loss and uh, value loss, your validation loss. Then uh, after this, this is for the resnet of the voiceless. This is for the resnet of the voice. 
And one more I used as the inception of the V3 model. Uh, we got this is the graph we got. Then, sir, this is we use the customized model here. Customized model by using the we increase the layer up to seven, and we uh, use this conventional of CNP of 2D model. And uh, after this, after making this this output and all things, we made one paper about the deep learning model uh, by using uh, this. Uh, um, these are the methods. Then after this, sir. We uh, okay. Next, we go to the problem statement. After getting this all, we use this uh, TensorFlow and Kera techniques, and uh, we increase our epoch level, and uh, uh, then uh, we got the output of the 94 more than 94 percentage. We got the uh, our uh, accuracy value, which is our uh, somewhat satisfied of the accuracy value. Then uh, for pattern matching, because we have to match it, we have to recognize whether that character is uh, how much uh, is, this will be there, uh, satisfied will be there. So we came a concept of uh, sir here. Uh, this is what comparison I have done about the different data model uh, I have mentioned here uh, by taking the different epochs and uh, type of deep learning model. We got the different uh, accuracy value, and uh, this is also same thing. After that, we increase the batch size and epochs, and we got uh, this is for the customized model, sir. Customized model about uh, uh, the graph of this customized model. Uh, this is the things we got about the model accuracy with the uh, versus of the loss model loss then after this we came uh, lstm uh, model because we know it is like uh, one of the rnn model like rnn model but now we are using uh, so many uh, hidden layers and uh, we are using lstm by using this uh, function of the getter recurrent unit and uh, there is a hugging process for about the to train the machine model after this sir uh, we go to the uh, model here. If you go, if you go for the model, uh, we we given the data as a chaw, and uh, here uh, it is show you uh, showing the pattern matching as a chaw. But uh, one thing, uh, next next, uh, I'm um, little bit I have done here mistake. Uh, I should write in Oria chaw. So this part I have not changed. I'll change it because I should change all the files as a Oria number about the Unicode character. By giving the Unicode character, it will come as a Oria chaw. Uh, it will it, it will recognize as a pattern matching uh, for character of um, Oria character chaw. Same thing. This is what we written in the hand. We written on the hand screen after after writing our paint uh, in this one MS Paint. Then we uh, apply to the model. We got uh, this is also we got the accuracy of the uh, we got the value here uh, accuracy value we got sir here. Okay. So this is about the two character I have mentioned here. We have done for all the character, many characters we have done and we have tested and got uh, uh, many of the characters. We got more than 95% of uh, our which one we are going to search. We are searching for Cho, then it will show you yes, 90% of the Cho character will be there. Yes, sir. So this is about the uh, some of the papers I have mentioned here. What, what are the papers we have for here? Yes, sir. Yeah, please wait. Uh, the panel is going to uh, meanwhile, you just stop serial PPT. Ravi, sir. Yes, sir. Stop. Yes, sir. stop serial PPT. Yeah, so there is this voiceless and voiced character. What is that? That is something new no. I heard. Yes, sir. Uh, when you go for the consonant character of Odia, now we have Odia consonant characters. Uh, because we cannot make this all, even if, if you go for some of the character like a compound character, there is a 95 other. We cannot make the 95 uh, classification. Same thing what happened, this consonant character we divide into the voice, voiceless and uh, unstructured like ko, 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 this type of words are ta. So th this type of words we made into the voice, voiceless and uh, unstructured, like this we divided. Yes, so just give, give an example of voiceless and voiced character. Uh, voice characters are we made as a ko, cho, to, like that. And uh, if you go for uh, no, po, this this type thing will come to the voiceless. Why? 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 Why the difference? Uh, because I think so due to the some uh, sound of this one. Because I, I, we use the consonant character. I have, sir, if you want to say, I'll show you the, my paper. One paper is there about. Uh, we have divided into the different characters. Exactly, I'm not remembering what are the characters we took there. But we have taken the uh, 12 characters for the vowels. And uh, our all vowel character, O, I, E, U, uh, that one, one, one uh, we make, made in one criteria. Then about same thing, ko, cho, to, po. This one we made one criteria. Uh, same thing, we have go for the to, to. Uh, this is we made into the uh, like voiceless character. Yeah, uh, Rabinan Babu, this is a very interesting work. Uh, I mean, this categorization you have done it, or it's a standard way of categorizing voiceless or 
with no, no, it is sir uh, it is already there already there the consonant character Sorry. is divided into the different uh, criteria we we took the criteria from there not we okay. didn't create it we we okay. collected the data it's for our odia literature uh, that's right voiceless on structure yeah that that's right. yeah yes sir. so the second thing is when you are recognizing characters is fine you have demonstrated with jaw call and all that mm. but how would uh, uh, a word when you have mm. presence of several characters and one character is connected to the another character so if the characters are separate yes, maybe uh, you have tried with the characters when they are written separately now when you are identifying a particular word so how do you figure out the character in a word for example i will say kotak bhuvaneshwar mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so the whole word from that whole word i want to i want to read that or i want to yes. understand yeah, what is that character. we are we are planning for that one we are planning to uh, because the words we can crop the words again we have to make the crop the words we are planning for that one if you scan one page there are so many words will be there our odia word will be there from the odia word it will be extract the character it will make the you know one one character it will be removed then it will go for the deep learning model we are working under that now just we have done for this uh, recognizing the only for one single single character uh, even if we have a plan sir about 20 years back my letter i was writing my father and my sister and uh, my brother in law that letters are there that letters also now i am going to do the research about that old letters we are scanning and uh, now going on it is in the parallel lines okay okay good it's a very so good it's work good and then, uh, you really yes, come up with some concrete uh, models and it will be really useful for the odia community because there are few people that are working in these areas good, and people yeah. don't find interest in this area so please go ahead and create a group <laughs> of your own and let other people also join and i'm still waiting to see a website completely uh, here i would like to mention about that uh, we have a very good uh, odia nlp group is there nlp group is there and uh, uh, so the nlp professionals who are currently uh, uh, actively involved in NLP work, so we have a very good WhatsApp group, and uh, so we are trying to share the information among us. And definitely, um, Ravinand Pandasar is also going to be the member of that particular group very soon. Sir, actually, sir, I have a lot of challenges in data collection. I have to believe that I have to say that I have to say that many of the school room managers have a letter. I have to say that data is not going to scan, but I have to say that the next one is going to be scanned. Sir, initiation is always tough. So, Jodhi Amji, I have to say that 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 I have to say that. So, that's why. Everyone's involvement or everyone initiation is always uh, rememberable. Agar apun jodi kiti bhalo kaam ko chanti, in aji apun appreciate noh element dio. Later on, you will be appreciated by someone else in different forum. Okay, sir. Okay. So be okay. patient. Okay. Let's move to the next. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. May I sir. share ah, something? You. Yeah, sir, yeah. Please. May I may I share something? Yes. Yeah, please, ma'am. Over to you. Uh, okay, sir. So first of all, the uh, work is very interesting. Uh, uh, and thank you for presenting the work. And mm -hmm. I previously during my MTech days, actually I was involved with uh, uh, in ISI Kolkata during my MTech days, uh, Bengali handwritten character recognition. I was involved with that, and that is why uh, I feel that uh, the work is very interesting. And very uh, I wish uh, every success of uh, this project actually. Good, good. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, ma I have my three journals I have published now. I'm waiting for one more for the Scopus uh, entry. Uh, three journals are completely uh, related this uh, compound character, newspaper character like that. No, all depend on the Odia characters only. Okay. okay. And, uh, uh, thank you, sir. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you all. Now I'm uh, for another time because already it is 9.46 and another, yeah, well, uh, already we have two papers yeah. to listen. Uh, Sampad yeah. Mahanti, sir, you are there? Sampad, sir. Paper ID 58. Yes, sir. Kindly respond, please. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Ravi, sir, kindly. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, now I request to Somindra, sir, or Aditya, sir, kindly. Colonel, sir, please okay. make him co host so that he can. Okay. Please go ahead. Yeah, Sampas, sir, please start your, start setting your PPT and start your presentation, please. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, is the uh, movement of my slide visible? Yes, movement is visible. Yeah, yeah, it is visible. Uh, 
Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Sampad Mohanty from, uh, I am a master student from BSSUT Burla, formerly known as UC Burla. I am here to present my topic on real time image captioning for enhanced security and surveillance, a deep learning approach using CNNs and LSTMs on FPGA hardware. So, uh, for the security and surveillance purpose, uh, I would like to start my presentation with a uh, quote that. Uh, it is not the question of uh, whether we will be attacked again, but it is the question of when. It is a quote by Michael Hedden. So as the technology of uh, today day advances, uh, the security of uh, our humans uh, are, tend to bridge day by day. And most, uh, and in this paper, paper, we are focusing on the surveillance by the security cameras. As we know that the security cameras are being monitored by humans, okay, the security footages are monitored by humans. Those are the things what machines do these days. So we will not uh, want a man to do a job what a machine do. So that's why we are using uh, various types of operations like some IoT projects and some, uh, to, nowadays as the state of art machine learning is there, so many of us are uh, using machine learning architectures for those uh, image captioning or for the security uh, footage analysis purpose. But still, there is a uh, context. There is a context of dis discussion for are they computationally efficient? Are the computation cost minimal? So to minimize the computation cost, we need to balance a trade-off between performance and the uh, hardware requirements. So that's why I have uh, we have conceptualized a project, and we are using a VGG16 CNN model uh, paired with uh, LSTM RNN for text generation, and uh, we are using the device for, for hardware implementation that is Zinc UltraScale MPSOC ZCU104. So uh, for the data processing purpose, uh, we are using two types of data. For the training data, we are using a Flickr 8K data set. We have used it. And you can see this is a sample from a Flickr 8K data set. And for later, uh, after the model is built and uh, it is dumped in the FPGA for uh, real time purpose, we are using a C3 uh, CU30 cam, which is uh, of very low precision, uh, three megapixel for uh, low precision for selfies, but a great for uh, image processing. Uh, then for the models, uh, this is the BGG16 architecture, as we know, and uh, uh, we have removed some of the uh, later layers and fine tuned it. And then uh, we have used a LSTM model with 10 blocks for, uh, uh, and uh, Although we, are, though we are using, uh, though we are generating 10 words, that's why you have used a architecture like that. And for the methodology, the first of all, uh, the image processing, the processing, pre-processing task is very uh, minimal. I mean, we are not doing a great job at the pre-processing as Flickr 8K dataset provides a great images and great variations of images. We have divided the data set into 80 and 20 uh, for the training, train, train, train and test split. And we are resizing the, the images to 224 to 224 pixels for compatibility with VGV16. And then after the feature, ex feature extracted from the images, we are channelizing it uh, to the LSTM RN. And uh, here, uh, I will uh, say that here the VGG16 is pre-trained. That's why we are fine tuning it. And after the LSTM uh, produces uh, the texts for the image captioning. And later, um, after verifying it in software, we are dumping it to the FPGA. Actually, I will clarify that this is not actually making the SDL languages for the FPGA. We are using a pink uh, image so that uh, for now purpose, but later in the future, we will shift to the SDL. So this is the result. We have got a BLU one score for 0.56. This is a unigram style model. And uh, 
this is a sample of the predicted uh, prediction. Uh, so that's all. Over to panel, please. Okay. Which simulator have you used for a PGA part? Uh, yes, sir. sir um, Ma'am, actually, uh, we are using the uh, pink uh, image. That's why uh, in the Jupyter notebook itself, uh, we, are, we are conducting our task. After so the training, any, completed. any simulator have you used, like uh, models or VHDL or uh, regarding the implementation? Uh, I'm asking about the implementation of the work. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, the implementation we have not done in the SDL. Uh, we sir. are using the pink image, that is the uh, pink jet to imager for zinc, uh, uh, so that we can use the software uh, directly in the FPGA. Uh, we are using a LAN cable to transfer the. But, uh, actually, mm. we are using it as, as an accelerator purpose. That's mm. And in the future, we will develop a proper SDL for both CNN and RNN. Then oh. only we can. Achha, okay. Good. Okay. Nirmato sir, Sarup sir, and Manas sir, if you have anything, any suggestion? The blue is a very rudimentary you know, benchmark, right? I mean, parameter, right? So in your paper, you have mentioned blue one, blue two. What is that? Uh, sir, blue, blue one is for uh, unigrams and blue two is for uh, bigrams and uh, like that. Whatever we take that blue three, blue four. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sampath. Uh, we are going to the next and uh, I hope uh, uh, all the best for your bright future because uh, you are doing MSC, uh, MS, perhaps, yeah. And we are expecting uh, in future you will do the best. Uh, now I would like to request I re invite to Simanchal Panigre sir. Thank you sir. Simanchal sir, you are there. Panigre sir. Hello. Panigre sir, you are there. Paper ID sixty three. I am here. I am ah, yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, before he will start his presentation, I would like to in introduce about uh, Professor Simanchal Panigresar. Actually, Professor Simanchal Panigresar is the retired professor professor from NIT Raurkela. Uh, and uh, it's again, he has proved that uh, for research and for learning, age is just a number. So we are here to learn a lot from him, and he is having a very good research on quantum quantum theory. So now I would like to request uh, Simanchal Panigre sir, please start sharing your PPT. Yeah, I am sharing my PPT. Yeah, please. I guess this is the last paper, right, Brajo? Yeah, yeah. One more. In that uh, 28 has not uh, addressed as of now, sir. Uh, after Panigre, sir, if uh, 28 will turn up, then we may otherwise uh, simply. Uh, is it okay. my uh, slide is visible? No, sir. It to no, come perhaps. Why it is showing remove as co host? So that's because it is already co host, so you cannot make him host. He's already the host. So you okay. should have the enablement to. Panigre, sir, are you facing any trouble? Uh, no, I, I shared this slide. No, but we can't see. Okay. Yeah, Rabi, sir, sir kindly is... help him. Na. Okay. Sir, what is the paper idea of Panigre, sir? Uh, yeah, it's 63, ma'am. 63. Okay. okay, okay. Rabindra sir, kindly help him to. Yeah, sure. Sir, can you see a small uh, hand over there in the icons below? Actually, uh, okay, okay. 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 Right side. Left side. Upon the screen, a chi, the Ramanku, the keeper on the Apana, say that Tolly would a smile is a chi, that Tolly, 
and it have to take care of it. Okay. Just a minute, just a minute. Yeah, right now he is sitting with his students, perhaps, or, or family. Okay, some students are there, probably they can uh, help out. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Click, yeah. click on the share button. Are you able to do it, sir? Uh, is the screen shared right now? Uh, not yet. We are not yet. <laughs> Did, were you able to trace the share button on the screen, on the Google Meet screen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, sir, sir, no, 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 sir, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Actually, the I am a, a fish out of the water in different aspect. Actually, my uh, presentation is uh, quantum computing assisted AI ML for next generation technology. As you are aware, that the government of India has a national quantum mission investment of six crore for the four vertical pillars one is the quantum computation quantum information and quantum material and also quantum sensor and being a physicist of this department and teaching the quantum mechanics subject within two years with my few students i have taken an adventure how we can how quantum mechanics will assist your ai ml for next generation and it will be also not only give you a solution to the problem but also i will give you the problem those who are in the computer domain they can also reverse side ai ml driven compute quantum computing for physicist side it is quantum computing driven ai ml and for you audience it may be taken as a reverse side AI ML driven quantum computing. So I will give you a brief flavor within eight minutes. Uh, what is quantum mechanics and how it is different from the classical mechanics? Uh, as you know, ever since the inception of the computation to supercomputer, the computation is classical. Classical in a sense, it is run by two bit zero and one. Zero or one. But tomorrow, quantum computation will take place 0 and 1. That is what is called quantum superposition. Both 0 and 1, as you know, 0 may be switch on, switch off, uh, um, uh, what you call um, close, open, or you can say uh, whatever may be the contrasting character and pass, fail, or high, low, whatever it may be. And coming to the quantum mechanics era, these values may be spin up, spin down. These are the logical bits and the technical bits or material scientist bits are, it may be spin up, spin down. It may be vertically polarized for a photon. It may be vertically polarized and horizontally polarized. It may be magnetized, unmagnetized. It may be polarized, unpolarized. It may be ground state and excited state. These are all bits, but in classical computer, they will take either zero or one. But in quantum computation, in quantum mechanics, there is a state called the superposition state. So let me give you a brief uh, idea about, uh, you know, you have a two world, macro world and micro world. And the quantum mechanics is the mechanics for the micro world. The subatomic particle, which are not visible in our God-given eye. So generally, our mind is classically colored. So in a classically colored mind, perceiving quantum mechanics is very difficult, but not impossible. And our normal perception, Newton's law and Kepler's law. And actually, what differs is that in classical mechanics, precise determination of position, momentum, energy, everything is possible accurately. But 
in quantum mechanics everything in a probabilistic manner and uncertainty model and everything because it is in dual state as you know we have given our attendance zero and one either physically present or absent there may be state like me i may be partly physically present and partly mentally absent and partly physically absent and uh, partly uh, uh, mentally present so that scope doesn't be included in the classical computer because it takes only zero and one and any problem given to your classical computation will be formulated in the string of zero and one so uh, it is a probabilistic manner and because uh, why this thing happened because till now there are some invalid assumption in classical physics we treat waves and particle are two different classically it appears to be different also and also we think that when a particle moves it has a definite position and momentum but that definiteness that certainty is lost in quantum particle when you go off an electron when you go off a proton neutron and all sub uh, atomic particle the certainty stops the predictability stops and everything you will talk about in a uh, what you say bilingual language partly positive partly negative partly switch off partly switch on partly polarized partly unpolarized partly i am physically present and partly i am physically absent like that that is what you call the superposition quantum superposition and quantum entanglement if you understand these two words you can easily reverse that ai ml assisted quantum computation you may not be comfortable with quantum computation assisted quantum mechanics assisted ai mi but to go to the reverse side what i got from the website it is not that difficult and uh, actually you see this is a figure is it audible sir my uh, my slide yes sir yes sir it is clearly audible from the gun bullets are coming it is a classical and from the light source photons are coming photons are nothing but the quantized version of the light you look the difference when there are two slits one and two so when the bullets will go through the slit one the the detector or screen which is placed just against the slit one the probability of getting bullet is high similarly if the bullet will go through the slit two here probability will be high but if you go to the quantum light photons you don't and uh, what is the probability of going the bu bullet both the bullet are open suppose bullet 2 is closed all the uh, sorry slit 2 is closed all the bullet will go through one so the probability will be high here and if the one is closed and other is open the bullets will go through the slit 2 and the probability of catching the bullet here is fine is high but when both the bullets are open then classically you will get this cause because the probability of getting here will be the maximum but if you take from classical bullet to quantum photon the probability is an interference pattern that is what is called quantum interference and that is because of the superposition because even though both these slits are open there is a finite chance that a photon can partly go through one and partly go through two you may ask question if photon is a particle there is a two one possibility either it will go through one or it will go to two but now what happens the photon will take the role of sometimes wave and sometimes particle if it is a wave there is uh, his position is uncertain so there is ever chance that it, it is a paradox it is what is called the paradox but it is true so this is what uh, so uh, i see now if you say the particle can be a wave similarly wave can be a particle because nature loves symmetry so hence forward the classically what you feel that wave is different and particle is different that idea ceases to stop the same thing can be a wave and same thing can be a particle it is not meant for electron it is the elephant is also a wave but the wavelength is so small it is non perceivable that is why for a macro particle like uh, ball football tiger we call them as a classical and there is no boundary line you can say before that it is a wave and so wave particle duality is the ultimate reality of the nature with this idea quantum mechanics is now whether you agree or not if you say light is a wave you are half right it is half of the story if you say light is a particle it is a half of the story 
if you say nitrogen mm, level is sir pani pani gre sir sorry for interruption kindly move to your last yeah, slide and narrate the conclusion please yeah, yeah. actually what have been i have not put my slide in your template because here nothing data is there only i will give it forever only yeah, yeah understood sir understood no problem understood what is please. the time possible uh, uh, what is the time lapse and you see this is what is called wave and particle and this is i will skip and there is uncertainty principle as you say for a quantum particle it is very difficult it is not possible to measure both position and momentum energy and time with cent percent accuracy you have to sacrifice the cost of one thing to get other thing it is not that you are not a good experimenter it is not that there is no instrument available that is why you can't measure accurately it is the inherent nature of the particle because wave particle duality leads to the uncertainty anyway i will jump it ah. so now what happened why the quantum mechanics entered to the computation as you know the size of the computer will drastically goes on decreasing and the day will come where each component may be the gate may be the resistor may be the transistor they happens to be the few atoms or it is some atom so when the component of the computer goes to the atomic stage then it doesn't hold good classical physics they will be governed by quantum physics so there will be a massive parallelism and because both zero and one both state will coexist all at a time so now it is coming to the now it will be jump to what are the uh, things quantum computation can do it is called the one sorted database suppose there is a database name of the uh, name of the telephone holder and their mobile number it has been not sorted and there is n number of them suppose you want to search a particular person whose mobile number is this or a mobile number a particular mobile number who is the person concerned classical computer if there are n data it will on an average to n by 2 search whereas your quantum uh, computation will to root over n so if there is a 100 database where classical computer will take to 50 atom your comp quantum computer will take 10 atom so the time of searching will be one fifth reduced and this is what is called and similarly suppose a, a salesman wants to move different city which are connected with uh, for his business and uh, it should be the distance between two cities are not yeah pani re sir pani re sir sorry to interrupt you again please don't mind uh, or because uh, you have you were only half of the slides only as of now so no, kindly no no as as i am going to ask the slides in pdf format and uh, again i am going to share the share you all your ppts not only yours even the all all the others ppt with the session chairs so with you. this uh, yeah please um, discuss I, your you conclusion know, and future scope please it is your time i will not go okay, please uh, let me know because your template cannot fit because our purpose is not to present a data yes sir yes sir i do understand abstract paper you must have seen my abstract paper so you that's tell okay. me that's okay. that's okay that's okay please please finish it and uh, because you are running short of time so Thank In, in i am just giving a flavor i have already explained i am giving a flavor of quantum mechanics so that i am giving a problem to my students or to my delegate so that they can come from ai ml assisted quantum computation they cannot venture quantum computation assisted driven ai ml but it reverse is true and as you see these are the quantum gate and they will be replaced by you are Uh, the classical gate as you know and gate or gate non gate and they will be replaced by quantum gate try to understand quantum gate is not a physical gate it is an operator it is a matrix and it is a unitary operator because on executing quantum computation you are operating with the operator please tell me what is the time lapse you see this is what is called quantum in you know, classical it is zero and one in quantum it is both zero and one are possible if it is two dimensional if it is three dimension both a b c are possible and if it is n dimension so the quantum computation will give you infinite dimensional space where you can enter infinite number of input possible unthinkable number of input try to understand a 100 qubit you call it qubit 100 qubit quantum computer is equivalent to a supercomputer and 500 qubit quantum computer is equivalent to 
all the computer of the computation facility of the globe connected together and india is still today on we have only 5 to 10 cubic that is why all the physics computer science electronics low hanging fruit is hanging so everybody should attempt to avail this opportunity this is my motto of my talk and you thank you sir thank you sir uh, sir look this is what is called, if it is one bit, either it is zero and one for classical computer. But for quantum computer, it may Dr. be both. Please, thank you. And if it is n bit, try to understand, if it is n bit, there are two to power n possible permutation, but one out of, at a, but one at a time. There are two n possible, but you should go one at a time. Whereas if you go to the quantum computation, all the 2 to the power n, suppose it is 2 to the power 500, all the computers work together. That is what you call it to be, you people understand better than me. There is a massive parallelism. You cannot think of Sorry, it. Yeah, sir. Uh, if you have uh, any question, kindly yeah, ask to. No, no, it's OK. I uh, think uh, you uh, have to stop now. Uh, just, sir, tell me uh, what is the time. If it is time left, I will stop. Yeah, sir, sir, actually, na, uh, sir, Simanjal, sir, actually, after this, uh, already the panel is there and discussion is there. Already, we are lagging behind the time. It was uh, up to 10, 9, maximum to 10. And uh, so that's why I'm extremely sorry for it. Uh, okay, okay. Massive yeah. uh, so, because uh, globally, pe people are waiting in the queue and... Uh, <laughs> okay, so we have to honor them also. Yeah, please. So AI and ML, let me give you two minutes, two slides. What it can do? I have just to give you a flower of quantum mechanics and uh, I have raised to your imagination, which you cannot think of classically. Now, what he can do and AI in AI and ML? He will, he will assist the quantum computation in searching large number of data. You know, classical computer will solve your problem, but quantum computation will tell you all possible solutions and probability of all solution. So it is easily, because there are plenty of literature available that the cross fertilization between AI, ML, and quantum computation is the future uh, computation of the today. I, I honor your time and I thank you. Thank you, sir. Is it more than 10 minutes, sir? Thank you, sir. It is, it is actually okay. a day topic, what you covered, try to cover in a 10 minutes time. It is really interesting and is going to be the safe maybe in another 10 years. Yes, sir. Panigrahi, sir. I am Dr. Mohan Nundipal from Kolkata. My and I am very happy to be in. Uh, Panigrahi, sir. I am Dr. Mohan Nundipal yes. from Kolkata. And I am very happy to be introduced with you. And thank you for your insightful presentation. And I am interested uh, as I have a central government project on uh, quantum machine learning. And okay. I'll be very happy to get in touch with the people like you. So, and if possible, sir, you please uh, sh uh, share your uh, insightful slides and that will be yeah, beneficial yeah, yeah. for us. Huh? You know, okay. said, Thank you, sir. Thank you for okay. your insightful presentation. Okay. 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 Mm, yeah, uh, thank you all. Really, it was a wonderful session. Before we will wind up such session or before I will express my vote of thanks to one and all, I would like to request Colonel Sir give his concluding remark. So then after we will go with the vote of thanks for the technical session. Over to no, Colonel Sir, please. Yeah, thank you, Brojo. I mean, for coordinating the overall uh, evaluation process and uh, taking care of the thing. And uh, I must thank uh, Dr. Mohua and uh, uh, thank you, sir. other uh, faculty members, seniors. And we have been reviewing in this, Dr. Pari, and I'm sorry, I now I can't see the name. And uh, so it was a it was a great uh, great uh, presentations. I mean, students are there; they are trying to do their best, but uh, they need to be. I know the supervision needs to be a little better in few cases. Otherwise, presentations are good. So thank you very much, and uh, once again, and uh, for your support and cooperation. Great thank, you, thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All, all, all the yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Ravinder Jana sir, platform is yours only right now. Please over to you. Continue. Yeah, Anjan. 
Yeah, please. Thank you.